The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, kind of, are two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. enthusiastic. Yeah, I know. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, great. And also, we have another uh, guest that we've had on multiple times on this show in Derek's absence because he's, you know, doing the baseball thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have another excellent stand-up com comedian. Arguably, he's much better than Derek. Um, <laughs> just got done doing a Very tour. arguably, <laughs> but yes. Uh, just got done doing a tour, a comedy tour in uh, New York City, New York, yeah. uh, Delaware. They call that the Big Apple, you they, know. They, I sure do. But he is none other than Esteban Pateros, Steve Peters. Woo! There you go, buddy. That's a bigger cheer than than Jeremy got, yeah, I think. I feel like yeah. That was better. Yeah, it, it was, was better. It was, it was really good. good. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, they don't know any better. Our fans are stupid. I've said that many times. <laughs> I don't know. I've about made that. no bones about that. They're I, fucking morons. I don't think. That. I think they're great. Uh huh. Uh, but anyways, guys, if this is the very first time listening to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast episode, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, ninety nine percent of them are targeted towards me when Derek's here, but when Steve's here, we team up on Jeremy. Yeah. And also, this is an adult podcast, if you haven't figured it out already, where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Steve, did you know about this team up on me? Thing? I didn't know about that. I, I tried <laughs> yeah. to disagree real subtly while he was uh -huh. saying yeah, it. I right. I mean, bring it on, I guess. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't, and and I don't, by the way, that I'm means uh, throw Scott at the fucking <laughs> wolves. I'm pretty, <laughs> that means. I'm pretty Switzerland over yeah, here. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's great to by have By that, you. you mean you got a corkscrew coming out of your ass? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yep. That'd be yes. a great party trick if you could just would. straddle the fucking wine bottle and just spin around over top of it and put your feet, hold it down, and just <laughs> yeah, awesome. love it. I don't think I don't think many people's buttholes are tight enough to be able to do that. Jeremy. Well, Steve's is. Oh, okay, is. trust me, I felt yeah. it earlier. He's nervous on yeah. this podcast. Mm -hmm. I well, guess. that's we always like to start off the show with a butthole check. Just a quick, quick yeah. tip of the finger. Little, that's true. A you know, oil dip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know who could though. Remember from remember Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah, yeah, he true. could. So tight that he turned the coal into. Yeah, a that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, very true. Damn it! And can can I just say this about that particular? That I, I, I missed that. <laughs> can, I, can I say this about that particular line in that movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he couldn't. <laughs> no, yeah, he right. could. Why not? No. Well, because you can't do that. Number one, <laughs> uh, the same carbon that makes coal is not the same carbon that makes fucking diamonds. Come on, Scotty. All right, Mister Science. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, the the local Bill Nye. I, lo I love to be so pedantic and just ruin <laughs> ruin things for people. I ruined the fucking whole concept of throwing a toaster in the bathtub for these guys. Scott, or Steve, yeah, I you was like, yeah, that actually wouldn't. You kill ruin somebody. the scientific things. I ruin mm -hmm. the comedy. That's the you way sure this show fuck do. <laughs> now I have to Google pedantic. Mm. Oh, that right. means a guy who's hung up on the details right. of things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Anyways, mm -hmm. okay. Well, we've got an excellent show for you guys this week. We've got some sports to go over, some real shit, horseshit as usual, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But before we get off into I think that, before yeah. before you get on with it, Scotty, I oh. think from now on when you do that rundown, you should give them a time stamp of when they can just fast forward to the good shit. You would think I would do that on, uh, like, uh, on the episode. That takes a lot of you time. You have it very meticulously planned out there. Not, it, sort of. Sort all, of. all the bullshit we stumble around with is actually scripted. We have rehearsal. Right. Three or four rehearsals before <laughs> every show. That's right. 
It's an all day event. Actually, they've been here the entire time. If you're watching us on mm. YouTube, you can see the five o'clock shadow from Steve. That's actually from <laughs> days of yeah. preparation for this podcast. We shaved we, four uh, hours ago. Every yeah. week we bring in Martin Scorsese <laughs> to direct this thing, to get it down just perfect, to make it sound flawed. But it's actually the way we rehearsed it. Yeah. You'd think uh, we'd do it better. Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino. And then on top of that, this is actually the uh, last part of the episode when we come back later and do the beginning at the end of the show, right? No, Scotty. Oh, okay. No, it's but, not. All right. I tried. Anyways, that guys. That was a great line, though, that Scorsese oh, wanted to throw weird. in there. <laughs> Marty is a fucking hell of a director, I'll no, be honest. Marty. Okay, that's great. Oh, uh, Marto. Yep. Uh, but we've uh, before we get on to the sports and the fun stuff, uh, we like to go over what happened to us over our last week. And uh, since we haven't seen uh, Steve in a quite a while, mm. see what's up with him. I actually kind of spilled the beans last week and said that Steve was actually a part of a very viral video on TikTok. I don't know if you guys caught that. Mm. We were tagged tons of times because it said Wichita, Wichita Kansas in it. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. Anyways, Steve, what have you been up to, buddy? Do you want me to talk about the video? You Just can. making viral videos. That's all he's been That's doing. Been I, doing. Uh, I was in a viral video. There was a lesbian that tried to beat up a guy that looks like a lesbian. Huh? Uh, in fact, and the that guy was that the looks, joke. Yeah, the guy that looks like a lesbian was being more of a dick than the lesbian. And the lesbian was very drunk with her lesbian friend that was there. <laughs> what you don't see in that video after I diffused the situation was that they continued to yell and scream at everyone. And I said, just leave and go home and smash your vaginas together <laughs> and create a vortex to where you just like bruise each other and suck it all together. She goes, that's not how it works. And I go, don't you lie to me. I've watched a lot of porn. I know exactly how it works. And she got very angry and left at that point. So nice. I, hey, look, I broke up a fight and I got the drunk people to leave. There you so go. That's, that's, good. that's actually a fun fact. This is a true fact about lesbians. When Whenever they leave a place, they actually scissor each other and just roll away. <laughs> that is how it happened. No, I, uh, I I started a new job and quit a new job. Oh, uh, great. Nice. That's that's um, always the best way to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I got a job as a mailman. Yep. Um, and, uh, what, and what were you female man before? Or? No, I'm, okay. I'm a real male man. <laughs> and, uh, and then it was, uh, it was a lot of work and I was too slow at it. So I was getting yelled at and I quit, uh, Three days ago, and then I went in to sign the paperwork today, and they convinced me to come back to work. So tomorrow I go back to work <laughs> at eight thirty in the morning. So it's a very true story. Uh, so my you, wife went with me. I got back in for... the I got back in the car with my ID badge, and she goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, "I have to be at work tomorrow at eight thirty. <laughs> they wouldn't let me like, quit. What the fuck? I I asked to quit, and they said no. no. Yeah. So you were such a shitty employee that they would yell at you. And so when you said, "Okay, then I'll just stop." They're like, no, yeah, yeah, no, we need <laughs> shitty employees. They're really hard up. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I got hired without an interview or a drug test. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah. As a to federal this, employee, to this, to this date, I've never received a drug test. I am shocked. I don't do drugs, luckily, I, but yeah. I'm sure there's people that do. I like to think it's just that you refused. Yeah, <laughs> they handed it to you, and you're like, mm. no, like nope, mm, no. no. <laughs> they gave you the cup, and you took a shit and yeah. take it over to yeah. the. <laughs> you just take it over to the water fountain, and be like, this should do it. I just jacked <laughs> off in it. I was like, sure. I've been to this place before. Where's I'm my twelve dollars? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you pull out a flask and pour whiskey into it and just exactly. start. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was good. That so actually that's, been that's, an accurate. That have been an accurate been, piss yeah. test. <laughs> You've yeah, actually got some yeah. ice in your pocket. <laughs> Swizzle it around. Been, uh, it's been productive. <laughs> oh, God. Pull out a martini shaker. <laughs> yeah. So so you went to New York and did comedy in New York City. Yeah, it was great. That's man. a big thing to do, man. It was a lot of fun. I was at the stand. I was at Stand Up New York. I was at the Comic Strip Live. I was at uh, St. Mark's Comedy Club and somewhere else, and I can't even remember what the fuck. St. Mark's, he was known for his jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he actually invented observational comedy. Exactly. He he's the one who really convinced uh, Richard Pryor to put a lot of motherfuckers right, and that's what really use the n word yeah, that's what as he much that's as a, you possibly can. That is exactly what he's canonized for mm -hmm. as right. a saint. So yeah, that's what happened. Well, I mean, we probably should have promoted it. We do have listeners up in New York City. So. Oh, I'll be in Sarasota, Florida, May 18th. Well, that'll hey. help those New York City fucks out, won't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Tell me, you were the guy who walked around <laughs> to the natives and went. Hey, it sure is great being here at the Big Apple, huh? <laughs> I'm sure. No, I'm going to go get me a piece of pizza pie. <laughs> God. 
people it's like a that slice. Get whatever <laughs> punched in the face. Forget about face. it. Yeah. I will say that New York ruined pizza for me. Really? I loved it. You, it was so fucking you, good. And you, you won't be able to get it anywhere. There else. was places in New York where it was like, this is trash compared to like, you know, the, the place I went yesterday. Like it, it's a real thing. And it and it's uh Oh, it'll start turf wars. Yeah, you cannot duplicate it. You can't. Anywhere. It's the like water. Um yeah. the something about the water in New York, the groundwater there has something in it that with the crust makes what? the crust like it's a crack. the perfect it's yeah. crack texture. <laughs> yeah. And there are places in California that will have New York water shipped. You are yeah. fucking no, kidding is, me. No. There is there. Uh, there is one what? place. There is one place inside uh, Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, yes. and yes. they have water shipped in. It's a Brooklyn uh, pizza place that's in Brooklyn. It is so fucking good, and, and then they ship. And it's, it, it's, it is exactly it, like it's it. not it Caesar's good. Palace. It it's good. in New York, New York. Is it New York? Yep, they have one in and Caesar's it is, Palace too. I think I'm not sure. No, they got that pretzel place. I think they maybe ship in water for that too. Uh, oh, okay. but okay. but no, the, in the know. fucking New York, New York, it is by far because I've never been to New York. Yeah, but that is by far the best pizza it's I've good. ever had. It's really. I good. used to hate pepperoni until I had that pizza. And really, oh, it's so fucking good. Well, I'm a cheese pizza fan. Okay, I got huge cheese, and then uh, I, uh, Chicago style. I eat the thin tavern crust with. Uh, never stuff. had true Chicago style. It's very. Good. I, I've had good. thick crust like pan crust yeah. but i've never it's had like true same. deep dish no it's, it's good i'll be honest with you uh so derek um being from yeah. from yeah. illinois yeah. right yeah. he yeah. actually has a giordano's shipped to him from yeah. the restaurant in yeah. chicago illinois and um i not a fan you know just mm. not a fan do you yeah, think Lou, they, Lou, do you Lou think they use the usps than, yeah no. Yeah, that? yeah. So he'll they? be delivering it. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fucking awesome. Your pizza dick face. <laughs> Why is there only half of it? <laughs> You're right. I don't know what happened. Uh, you got insurance God. on it, right? <laughs> right. Anything else you want to talk about? No. I think that's all. I've that's got. A, okay. No. That's yeah. fine. Well, good because I we had a uh, we had a fucking clusterfuck of a week here in the uh, the great state of Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, first thing I'm going to point out is uh, I thought that um, TikTok was really pissed off at us to, enough to the point to where they removed our Q&A on purpose. Uh, no, it was a software downloading error on their part. Okay. And uh, I contacted them. Now our Q&A section for our TikTok channel is back up to where you can send us your questions and I can respond to them or we can respond to them. Most likely it's us. Um, but uh, so that's back up there. Take advantage of it while it's there. So you're telling me you resolved the conflict through communication rather than just sitting there stewing about it? Uh-huh. What yeah. the fuck? How does How that work? How many Facebook posts did you make about it? Though? Oh, none. I, did, I didn't. I didn't. We just talked about it on the show. Then <laughs> all of a sudden, resolve. it just wasn't there. Well, and you know that TikTok listens. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Dave TikTok? Yeah, he listens. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, so that's, yeah, they listen to everything. Fuck yeah, they do. they Chinese spy agency. Right. Right. Uh, so See, I, these, these, are, these aren't phones. These are pocket computers. Correct. And they're always listening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the other thing, uh, I, I didn't think I was going to give two shits about it initially, but after... Getting the highlights of it on TikTok and YouTube and shit, I am all over this Johnny Depp Amber Heard <laughs> fucking court case, and it is fucking hilarious. And I'm gonna say this: if the, if we are gonna disagree as a country on everything political or anything like that, this is the one thing that everybody agrees on, and that is Johnny Depp is a badass, and Amber Heard is a cunt, and I love every minute of it. I. I am so angry at the fact, because I fell into this trap too. Yeah. Amber Heard came forward with one (laughs) audio recording of Johnny Depp just going off on her. Sure. And you're just thinking, God, what a fucking prick. That must be a nightmare living with him. And then you find out what an awful person that she is, and we all have our fucking breaking points. Sure. I've flown off the fucking handle before. Yeah. I've put a couple wives in the hospital. (laughs) Right. They didn't shit on my pillow, but <laughs> might as well have. I mean, the so, fucking the soup cans weren't stacked right, right? Yeah. So, I mean, fucking it's alphabetical. How hard labels, is it? Labels to the front. Yeah. Yeah. Alphabetical. Yes. Three I mean, or four la- three or four lashings for that, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I got yeah. a cat of nine tails <laughs> okay. there at the house, yeah, and yeah, I, a little, I dispense a little. A little <laughs> I dispense a little corporal punishment. No, but I mean. It, that's I, the way to do things. I think it's great. I have yet to meet a person that's like, okay, seriously, I'm kind of on Amber Heard's side. I haven't met a single fucking person. Like, like we are all together in this. Oh, well, they exist. Okay. They, they do? Um, oh, fuck yes. There, there are so many people out there that as, as long as the women believe all women. 
Oh, Here's the nose people. don't get me fucking started with that shit. Oh, let's a, get political, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's don't. Here's a statement I made to my wife earlier uh, today, as a matter of fact. Awesome. If she ever leaves me, I am sliding into Amber Heard's DMs <laughs> faster than you can fucking snap or blink. <laughs> that crazy bitch... <laughs> would fuck better than any chick <laughs> you've ever met in your entire life. And, uh, you know she's doing ass to mouth. I like, as a routine. Sure. Like, that's a regular thing. That's not even the birthday sex. I guarantee you, she does keep all the utensils of a Swiss Army knife up in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. that cr- I Look, my first wife was almost that crazy. I don't think she shit in the bed. I don't really remember. But yeah. she was a lot of fun. Yeah, it, was, sure. it was a good deal. That's, uh, that's so the, you know. That's any, the give about and an take. Hour every couple of days, she was she was you know desirable. <laughs> yeah, Amber Heard's got a fucking can opener and a nail <laughs> yeah. file yeah. and a couple yeah. of different size blades and a fucking mouse trap <laughs> and some board games and probably an old style NES right up there. I mean, there's she's keeping some there. Her vagina is a haunted house, <laughs> is what it is. Uh, I think one right. of my favorite moments from that trial I saw earlier today, uh, and that which caused me to to make the comment to my wife. But uh, the attorney asked, he goes, "Mr. Depp, would you agree that you're much larger than Amber Heard? You're not the same size." And he goes, "No, no I wouldn't." Goes, no, I wouldn't. And she say was that. just like, "Fuck!" <laughs> oh, uh, and she could like, she? Oh, have, I shouldn't have had that cupcake. Did, did Amber Heard go with the public defender? She, <laughs> the guy, the she, guy fucking, she couldn't have gotten a worse fucking oh, so attorney. Bad. He has so shown he his ass. To himself. That was what I was going to say. <laughs> I about lost my shit whenever he asked the question and then immediately object. And it's like, <laughs> and the judge, the judge yeah. goes, you <laughs> asked the, ask the question. He's like, well, I know. I just. I, I, uh. Uh, Objection <laughs> speculative. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, you asked the question, counsel. <laughs> Okay. No, he said here. <laughs> Fair enough. It was here. It was hearsay. Great. Yeah, hearsay. That's yeah, what it that's was. That's what it was. It, it, but I mean, there's so much good stuff that's coming out of it, this. The T-shirts of the mega pint of wine, fucking get me too. So this yeah. is this has gone from legitimately something that I couldn't care less about. Like I just, it, I care so little about this thing. To it, this is entertaining <laughs> as fuck. And here's yeah. here's the real. <sighs> bitch about it is while it doesn't affect me at all this has cost johnny depp two 20 million plus dollar rolls paydays mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean that i mean he had four upcoming yeah more movies in that that uh the fucking fantastic the, beast series yeah the he, at pirates. least one more pirates of the caribbean yeah. movie yeah. i mean those were each movie was gonna pay mm-hmm. eight figures and yeah. i and it's gone my prediction is that uh, and Mads Mikkelsen is better as fucking <laughs> Grindelwald anyway. Uh, Am- Amber will not be a part of the next Aquaman. I guarantee <laughs> fucking tell you that. And while Johnny Depp has said he is never going to go back to doing the Pirates thing again, I totally get that. And obviously the Fantastic Beasts or whatever it is. But every fucking casting director right now is waiting for this shit oh, to get fortunate. over. Yeah, and they yeah, are chomping yeah, they are at so the ready. bit. They're so ready. Yeah. Because they're going to hire him for, I don't give a fuck yep. what role it is. Yep. Because yep. they... That is that movie, the next movie that he, he fucking he has, it's gonna blow he has gained up. the sympathy of everybody, all, I, all of the country. I hope you know, the next the world, movie is like so. a made for TV movie about <laughs> this <laughs> situation. Awesome. And he plays Fast forward to the part where she mm-hmm. shits on his pillow. And just for satire, he plays the attorney for Amber Heard. I think that would be <laughs> yeah. fucking great. Just a fucking bumbling moron. <laughs> yes. That would be awesome. Anyways, that's anyway, that's yeah. uh, that's that. But um, I don't know about you guys, but Apparently, it's fucking tornado season here in Kansas. Mm-hmm. We got a whole bunch of you know messages from listeners asking if all of us are okay. Yes, all of us are okay. It was. I'm not. Yeah, Jeremy's Jeremy's <laughs> fucked up about I'm it. I'm emotionally damaged. <laughs> he is emotionally. emotional damage. Hundred um, percent. But no, there was a there was a, a tornado that ended up being only an EF three tornado. Obviously, it goes up to F EF five <laughs> only. Only. Yeah, it's a pretty good tornado. <laughs> That's I'm, pretty that'll good suck one. your lungs out through your yeah. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> That's only 250 mile an hour winds. Okay. 
I uh, I think it's very easy and safe to say that this is probably one of the most video camera taped or whatever oh, the yeah. fuck yeah. You, tornado yeah. of all time. Yeah. They got these it. pocket computers. They got cameras on. Them. Yeah, but like <laughs> listening to you. But the thing is, is that this one was also in like the afternoon, as opposed mm-hmm. to like yeah, Greensburg, right more outside, Oklahoma, yeah. Yeah. more Oklahoma. More they had Oklahoma footage, they had probably footage. had better footage and. Yeah. They couldn't fit the whole fucking tornado in the frame. That's yeah. how big that That's motherfucker big, was. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to that one, yes, this one wasn't shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's but. true. Um, but the, you know what? The cool thing is, is everybody in the in our area are banding together, helping clean up. It's it's kind of uh, neat to see. Mm-hmm. Um, but Kansas motherfuckers, every goddamn time, if we got a chance to tailgate something, there's videos of it mm-hmm. already. There are people in their driveway. Behind them is a house that is absolutely destroyed, and they're chilling, drinking beer. That's a Kansas fucking thing. I'm surprised that they people don't walk around with like, Shirts with the Kansas seal on it going, these colors don't run, motherfucker. <laughs> Looking at tornadoes, just yelling at them. It's Because it's, we don't. We hear yeah. tornado sirens, and that's our call to come out and watch it. That's exactly that's right. True. There's a reason why it's the most videotaped is or you know most footage. It's because we are the assholes that are like, hey, tornado, get me outside with my fucking phone. There are teenagers taking selfies with it in the background. It's the most Kansas shit ever. And, and just uh, the fucking way it just tears through those houses like it does. butter. It does. It's so fucking violent. But kudos to our fucking National Weather Service and shit. Not one person lost their lives. Zero. And so it's just yeah. property damage, which yeah. is bad enough. However, Andover is either first or second wealthiest community in the state. Yeah. They'll be all right. They'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, my, my week, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah. How about you, Jeremy? I didn't do nothing. Right. Um, go on. Uh, no. Um, okay. <laughs> Something that I had been uh, looking forward to for a while. I got a new gun. Yeah. Nice. Uh, full auto. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Buddy. Caulking gun. Oh, um, gotcha. Battery powered. Nice. nice. Got it at Home Depot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Finally went on sale. Been waiting a long time for that. The paperwork was a fucking nightmare. I bet you the <laughs> ammo, though, that's, that's readily available. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Okay. Now, finally... Mm-hmm. Finally, I mean, it was out of stock for a long time during say. that pandemic. Yeah. Right mm-hmm. now, I can get you know regular cogging. I can get silicone. I can get color match shit. Jeez. I can get whatever. The f- so many brands. Yeah, it's a supply chain mm-hmm. issue. Mm-hmm. It sure is. <laughs> Full of cock. I got cock all over the house. Come on over this weekend, guys, if you want to shoot it. <laughs> right. Um, I, I can't let you leave with it, but I if as long as I'm with you, you feel you free to shoot it all you want. It. Um. Let's see. Uh, then uh, while we were out running errands, my wife and I, we uh, I needed a new pair of, I guess, flip flops. They're they're not like real, not the thong flip flops, but no. like the sandals that you just slip on. Um, I like to keep a pair. Yeah, slides. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Sli- I, yeah, sliders. Well, um, slides. Oh, they slides or sliders. Slides. Oh, the sliders is a sandwich. Sliders are tiny little sandwich. Castle. Oh, um, that's what I keep my cup in. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Now. <laughs> That that being said, my shoes is where I keep all my little hamburgers. So nice. uh, warmer, it, it sure yeah. is. Nice. It keeps them warmer, a little more flavor, makes mm-hmm. my feet smell like onions. Yeah. So um, yes. Anyways, uh, we're at Academy Sports, and okay, my wife. I almost I I can tell I'm maturing because I could just sit back and chuckle at this situation. You ever have somebody be so wrong about something, and you're trying to correct them, and they so focused on what they're wrong about that they don't even hear you. Yep. Uh, we were looking around, and she's like, well, here's the men's section. Where where are the shoes? They're in shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they're not in the men's section. Well, maybe it's around this corner. They're in shoes. <laughs> she would not get over that men's shoes are not in the men's section. They just have <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Wound up getting two pairs, by the way. Nice. nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, Friday, I uh, stayed up late all night watching uh, the final episodes of Ozark. Okay. Uh-huh. What'd you think? Good. Okay. Uh, as great as the series has been, there just really wasn't any way to live up to expectations okay. as far as how it ends. But still very, very good. Very complex. I'm not still not entirely sure what the hell happened. Mm. But uh, very good. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, I always like to give my reviews of shit that I've been watching. Okay. Uh, over the last five weeks, uh, this next, this upcoming week will be the final week of it. I've been watching Moon Knight. Okay. 
piece of shit. <laughs> they couldn't have made this fucking thing worse if they had to. Nice. It Okay, five one-hour episodes called Moon Knight, and ten minutes of that has been Moon Knight. Yeah, and the rest sucks. of it is just this douchebag having an existential crisis. I got you. That's all it is. And it's don't waste your fucking time. This is the most worthless fucking thing. It's such a cool character, and they just shit the bed on it. Way the whole go. fucking way to go. It's, yeah. Fuck you, Disney. Can I, uh, can I tell you something? That's that, exactly that, how Ron DeSantis feels. Oh, yeah. Um, we should get him on the show. Scott. Yeah, sure. I agree. <laughs> He's a sports nut. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I, I took your guys' advice, and I started watching Winning Time. Uh huh. I m- maybe made it ten minutes. Mm. Uh huh. Them breaking the fourth wall or third wall or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Pissed me off. Really? I can't do it. I can't watch it anymore. It it, it just it, it's just too. It's not it's not for me. But You're but so fucking wrong. Here's the deal. Like and I and this is just a thing with me. I completely understand people that don't mind that and that love this show. I completely get it. But out of all of the superhero movies, I, uh-huh. I hate them all. Yeah, Deadpool is my favorite out of all uh-huh. of them because it's a rated R movie. Uh-huh. It would actually be a probably top twenty movie for me of all time. I like the character a lot, mm-hmm. except that he breaks the wall. Uh, what is it? The fourth or third? I think this just kind of goes to confirm what we've all thought all along. No, it's okay. It's people, a thing with me. People should not include you in things. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> that's, that's really what this boils down to. Yeah. Even you know, don't fucking get me involved. I'm just going to fuck everything up. Yeah. No, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this right now. And uh, uh, John Cougar Riley, mm-hmm. if he does... John Cougar Riley. If he does not win... A fucking Emmy and a Golden Globe and shit for his role in this. He is so fucking good. That will be a fucking crime. And I don't particularly care for the guy. Everything that I've ever heard about him, he's a dick. Yeah. So, uh, but he is so fucking good in this show. Oh, good. Um, Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to go over the week? (sighs) No. I did go home now. No. It was a uh, long week. I, I did. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is a. This is probably gonna be a longer episode for you guys. Just giving you a four one one. Um, but that, that actually took two weeks to go. Over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, okay. So uh, today, when this airs, you guys will have seen that we did put out uh, the um, for announcement. Everybody. Yeah, uh, the announcement that we are talking about having a live show in the middle of October. Um, initially what I put on there was that it was probably going to be on a Sunday. The more we sit here and talk about it, it's probably going to be a Saturday afternoon. Yep. Um, mid afternoon, early evening at, it'll be at Vorshay's lounge, which, uh, our good buddy here, Steve has some connections to that particular facility. I'm banging the chick that owns it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Well, don't stop before yeah, don't, October. Don't <laughs> fuck it up. Okay. <laughs> Um, but we got uh, a lot of pause, at least just for the first day uh, that, that we're recording this episode um, one day, and we got a lot of positive feedback for it. And so this is probably going to fucking end up happening. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess new notes about it. It's probably going to be 18 or older mm-hmm. um, to get in. And uh, it, yeah, it's gonna. it sounds like it's going to be a pretty fucking fun time. We've got a long time to plan this, but that's kind of the idea. I know that a lot of you listeners that are from states that don't even fucking border Kansas and you guys are talking about coming, we want to give you as much of a heads up and the ability to drive home and not miss anything that you're supposed to be scheduled mm-hmm. for. So that's uh, that's really cool. It's going to be a great time if everything goes smoothly. We will probably come out later, kind of closer to when we decide exactly what day, what time, all of that shit to where you can pre-order uh, tickets. My idea for the tickets uh, we got to pay the staff, especially if we're going to have people that are not going to be drinking alcohol. A lot of things are going to come into play, and we'll go into those details as they come up. But thank you again to Steve for allowing us to do this. Yeah, man, for sure. It's uh, it's a good fucking well, idea. I thank Steve's wife. Yeah, yeah, or that, or girlfriend. Which the, one? Uh, the you can piss in my dishwasher anytime. That's exactly. right. <laughs> the uh, the hundred twenty five dollar a ticket price is pretty pretty. Whoa, cool too, fuck! So that's, yeah, it's I figure we're on the same level as Kevin Hart, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is going to be yeah, a five to ten, great. five to ten dollar ticket event. By okay, the way, Scotty, were we able to get Kevin Hart Very as a guest? Good. I mean, he may be a host. I don't yeah. think he's good enough to be on the show, though. That's oh, probably awesome. not. Yeah. But yeah, he can introduce us. Right. Yeah, that needed to be there. 
Anyways, guys, uh, now before we get on to the sports, we've got mm-hmm. some uh, a particular sponsor that we need to thank. Mm-hmm. Who? For, for, uh, well, it's it's been an ongoing thing. Oh, yeah. that That's the noise that you make. Mm-hmm. It is the noise you make whenever you're shaving your nuts. Thank mm-hmm. you so much to manscaped.com. Excellent fucking sponsor. Gave them a nice uh, nice plug in the last video. I thought that was... I thought you had a little lawnmower up here. I did, I did, but I actually had to use it. So, <laughs> you know, I actually do use the product. That, it's that not is a bullshit. working model. That is a working model. Um, I still feel like they should have named it the man mower. Uh, you know... They didn't, though. I know. That's okay. Because women actually can use it. They can. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Stay away from our shit. That's right. You're going to catch a lip in there. Mm -hmm. 100%. No, you won't. No, you probably won't. Actually, it's it's not designed to be lips. Uh, Sure. Uh, Well, hold on a second. Do you think think lips and and ball sack are kind of similar? Not at all. One has balls in it. (laughs) No, and the if, texture. If, if most women are anything like my wife, the lips have a pinch of skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Anyways. I don't know how she does it. Her vagina just like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, weird. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, anyways, they have ex- minty fresh. <laughs> <It> sure is. <laughs> they, yeah. Jesus. Long winter green. Winter green. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they do have excellent products like the Lawnmower 4.0, which has uh, new features compared to the 3.0. This one has an adjustable LED light so you don't blind yourself like you did with a 3.0. It has mm-hmm. a docking station so you can nicely present that up on your, your uh, bathroom counter so everybody knows you keep your nuts clean. It's always a good thing to point out, especially if you have a date over. It's always that good. Might sure. Lead to more docking. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, especially for the gay guys. You know, yeah, you got exactly. We were thinking about them too. Mm-hmm. JP specializes in helping. Uh, you know. Yeah, he's haircuts. made a guarantee on this he show. Sure has. And I don't know how many times he's had to carry it out. I, I don't want to know. Uh, I've heard that's, two. That's between twice. him. Okay, I've heard Fair twice. Enough. Yeah. Um, but anyways, they have Was not Derek just, one of them. Yeah, nice. <laughs> he helped. Um, but anyways, uh, they also have other products. They have things like cologne, refine, which is an excellent cologne. Sure I, is. I've worn it. It's very good. Get you all the, the school chew and push you yep. want. And they're changing the way men do things. Believe it or not out there, there are men who will scratch their nuts and then sniff their fingers. Now, because of manscaped.com, you have the ball deodorant and toner where you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, but I do. Fuck! I was gonna ask you it that. Smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, yeah. now with yeah. that ball deodorant on there, who wouldn't sniff exactly. their fingers? I That's am, like being handed a bouquet of roses and not giving it a sniff. I am finding that Derek and myself are the only two people on the planet Earth that don't sniff their fingers of after scratching course their you nuts. Are. You're fucking freaks and you're fucking liars. Is what you are. <laughs> I, I'm not lying. <laughs> yes, you I'm are. Not lying. No, because with Manscaped.com's products, you can make sure they smell nice and Absolutely. delicious. Absolutely. That's what I started giving my wife instead of flowers for Valentine's like Day. You should. I just like scratch you. my balls, hold them up to her face, and go, happy Valentine's that's Day, right. darling. That's I love you. That's right. Uh, but dude, like it smells like the ocean. It you? sure yeah. does. But do check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we're reading every commercial word for fucking word. Mm-hmm. Thank you, manscaped.com. Woo! Sweet. Now we get to get on to the sports and try to blaze through that son bitch because we're gonna have fun with Steve today. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh Guess boy. what? Over this last week, we had the 2022 NFL draft. A lot of movement happened. Um, this was one of the least watched NFL drafts over the last five years. I can tell you for a fact, as far as live goes, I didn't watch one second. Not a fucking second for me. I was me so either. uninterested. Uh, rate, TV ratings went from 12.5 million from last year down to 10.3 million. A this fucking year. three share is a huge drop That's in a ratings. Big drop. So yeah. it was. And, and you know what? It, it's understanding the big players this year, the first you know players drafted were offensive linemen, defensive linemen, a whole bunch of defensive guys. There was a wide receiver taken before a quarterback, which very rarely happens. But the realistic side of it is, is that this year, it's just one of those drafts. Only uh, one quarterback in the first round, right? Uh, yep, that was Kenny Pickett. He's, when was the last time that fucking happened? I don't know, but he is going last to the Pittsburgh. Probably. Yeah. Well, and it makes perfect sense, you know, because the Pittsburgh Steelers really they need had, a quarterback. They right had now. some bad luck. <laughs> they did. <laughs> so you know, they needed a quarterback really bad. And and why wouldn't you go with a hometown kid? He played at Pittsburgh. 
Um, Pitt, so, they call that. Yeah, he yeah, was the over. Yeah. He was the twentieth overall pick. Um, so yeah, congratulations to him. But with the movement happening, we had some uh, players get traded for picks and things like that. We had AJ Brown from the Titans, who's now going to be a Philadelphia Eagle. I think the Eagles are really trying to beat the shit out of the Dallas Cowboys this year with some well, of their Well, that's all you got to do to that's win that fucking it. division. You want to get into the playoffs, all you got to do yep. is be the better of those two teams. That's right. Mm-hmm. And um, then, I'll oh, go ahead. Speaking of, just, just so we – most famous quarterback ever to come out of Pitt. Ben Roethlisberger. No. <laughs> he didn't go there. No, I know. I just <laughs> – I don't even know where he went to school yeah, at, I but no I idea. don't think it's there. Mm. Um, Joe Montana. Notre Dame, Scotty. Oh. <laughs> Close. It was uh, Montana. Same, same color helmets. Uh, yes, Joe Montana went to Notre Dame too. Oh, okay, <laughs> he's a Chicago guy. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh. Yep. Okay, cool. No, but who is it? Dan Marino. Okay, that makes and sense. And I'm gonna cool. have to uh, double check that because I could be 100 percent wrong on that. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure he came that. out of Pitt. Uh, best quarterback to never win a Super Bowl, right? Absolutely, he is. Yeah. There you go. Um, I don't know, <clears throat> but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, another move that ended up happening, uh, the Baltimore Ravens ended up trading uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown to the Arizona Cardinals. I did see that. Which, that's a fucking good move on Arizona, Arizona in my yeah. personal opinion. Yeah. And I like that they kept Kyler Murray, too. They kept I thought Kyler. there was going to be a, a, a change there, They are too. college teammates as well. Both of them went really? to Oklahoma. That's right. Oh, wow. So that, okay. they are going to be on a new level in Arizona, in my personal opinion. And you know why they have to be right now? Mm-hmm. Because DeAndre Hopkins is now suspended for six games because of failing a performance enhancement drug test. All right. Uh, I just want to point out before we go any further, I was right. Both you two can fucking suck it, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Had to check that shit. Fuck both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so no DeAndre Hopkins for the first six weeks because of imp- uh, performance enhancement drugs. And Kyler Murray kind of showed he wasn't so great without Hopkins. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a learning kid. Yeah. He's, 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 he's going to be good, I promise. This is the make it or break it year for Hollywood Brown. I yeah, I'm sorry, with uh, Kyler Murray, I'm sorry, yes. not Hollywood Brown. I, I think that any more, uh, we're kind of in this weird transition period where quarterbacks are coming into the league with a skill set that coaches aren't quite sure how to coach. Sure. And without that guidance, they really have are having a hard time developing. And so they kind of, you need a fucking shit, Jesus Christ. What'd you spill? I didn't spill a goddamn thing. No, I pulled got, on my cord, up and a, the cord. there's a Funko Pop down. Uh oh, Funko. Where's the fucking Secret Service on this? I don't know. Which one did you knock over? Uh, Macho Man. Macho so, Man and Hulk. Yeah. Oh no. Oh fuck! I just eliminated both of those motherfuckers from the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is now over. You, Boom. Jeremy We're is good. the champion. We're good. We're back to normal. Fucking it's fine. asshole. Oh, fuck. They're back in it. it. All right. I guess they were hanging onto the apron. The yeah. referee didn't um, catch him. Yeah, he sure didn't. Yeah, he was distracted. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Where was I going? I don't know. Where were you going? Uh, Kyler Murray and yeah. quarterbacks, and yeah, I, I think with that that lack of guidance, they need a you know a guy who can just always be open, and that's Hopkins. Yeah, it, exactly it really is. is. Um, but this is going to be kind of a, a fun thing to watch with uh, Hollywood Brown. The realistic thing is, is Hollywood Brown is probably an excellent wide receiver, but he hasn't had a quarterback that throws a lot, and Kyler Murray does. So yeah. this is why I'm saying. This this legitimately could be. Uh, you're damn right. I made it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is how long of a contract be, did he sign? Do we know? I do not. I, I I'm sure it's out there. I just do not remember what it is. I want to say it's three years, but I could be wrong. I I would think he would want to go a shorter one so that yeah. he could show what he's got and then renegotiate. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think that's <clears> what yeah. he did. I, but uh, we did finally figure out that Tyron Matthew is no longer going to be mm. a chief. He is signing with the New Orleans Saints, which is, I believe he's from LSU, if I remember. That's where he went to college. Yes. Or, okay. So he's going home. I, I still don't think the Saints are going to be very good, but that's just me. Do we know, by the way, going back to uh, Hopkins, do we know what the uh, performance enhancer was? I, I do not. I do not know myself whether or not it's out there in the ether. It possibly could be, but I just know that he's going to miss six games. Okay. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, moving on from football. Yeah, if you want to figure out who was drafted first and all that shit, you can look it up yourself. It's really easy. I know the Jacksonville fucking shit the bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that first pick. Well, you know, it's Jacksonville. What the fuck do you expect? I mean, they didn't even pick the best guy at his position. Yeah. So uh, maybe they saw something in him, Jeremy. Yeah, he came out and he fucking was a monster at the goddamn 
the combine. Yeah. But he only had nine and a half career sacks in yeah. college through four years of fucking college. Yeah. That's okay. Or three. I don't know. I don't know. He's Let the Tom. He's up. the Tom Brady of that position. He's going to be drafted. You know. Really high, though. It's going to be the exact opposite. So he's nothing like Tom Brady. Different position, different uh, place that's, in the draft. That's what, that's what it, that's uh, and exact, he's going to wind up being worthless. That's, what I, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. God, quit fucking up. Yeah, that's exactly what you said when he said he's the Tom Brady of that position. I said he's yep. not the Tom Brady. Open up your fucking ears. Why don't you fucking speak clearly, you mush mouth <laughs> cocksucker? No, Take I, the dicks out of your fucking <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I know. I actually did say what you thought I said. I know. Anyway, I know that. Moving on from boom, po- <laughs> suck it, motherfuckers, both of you. I was right again. <laughs> God right. damn it, I'm good. You are okay. So, moving on from football, we're going to mm-hmm. talk about uh, some college baseball. Believe it or not, yeah, dude. This I don't know is, if you. This can, is pretty. This cool. is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. There's a pitcher for the University of Tennessee named Ben Joyce. He hit a hundred and five point five miles per hour. In a game, mm-hmm. that is only point. fastball. That's yeah, it's fat. Yeah, it's yeah. what I say. Curveball? No, you just. You <laughs> what didn't if he say, did? You didn't <laughs> what say if anything? he threw a fucking curveball? Didn't say anything. Uh, uh, twelve, uh, fucking, twelve six bender. Twelve six yacker that fucking went a hundred and five. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said he hit it. He, he yeah. threw a hundred and five point five yeah, mile. Per yeah, hour he fast. hit a hundred and five on the fucking radar. On the, yeah, on the radar gun. Yeah, there you go. He I, actually hit the radar gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it said he hit a one hundred five point five. Uh, but that is that the is, wave. Yeah, that is actually I think the second fastest pitch in history because the fastest is Chapman uh-huh. who hit one hundred five point eight. There may be some people in between there. I don't know, but it's definitely there was an outfielder who threw a hundred and five. Jesus Christ! That's, for the Yankees. Wow. Uh, well. Two guys on the same fucking team, both threw 105 miles an hour. Jesus Holy Christ. Shit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's definitely the fastest fastball ever recorded in college baseball. But it's going to be pretty exciting, and I don't think this guy is going to be in Tennessee very much longer. I just no, remember the fucking – I, I don't remember it vividly, but I remember just there being this huge buzz when Nolan Ryan hit 100 mile an hour. Yeah. Hit 102. Yeah. Oh, well, it and yeah. it, it was like, that's not fucking possible. Yep. Yep. And now they're fucking and through a performance enhancing drugs that can now get around drug testing. Right. Yeah. It's possible. Right. Sure. I don't. And, and I, I've played college baseball. I've seen the fastest I think I've ever seen and made contact with, I think was 98. Mm-hmm. The difference between 98 miles an hour and 105 miles an it's hour huge. is huge. huge. Yeah. That it's is huge throwing and gasoline. Mm-hmm. At, at the major league level, it's not just going 105. It's doing this shit yeah. Yeah. while it's coming at you. And, you know, it's it's kind of one of those you legitimately, knowing somebody can throw that hard, you legitimately have to worry, batter. is that yeah. going to kill me? Yeah. That has yeah. that has to be the first thought in your yeah. head, yeah. and then you assess whether or not you should swing at it. Yeah, that, yeah that's actually going to mess with a batter a little mm-hmm. bit. You yeah. know? I mean, it really is. That's like, why they that, need that's to move. In your head when they you need to move the, the rubber back a foot. <laughs> no, they Steve, don't. Steve, I don't know if you ever heard my suggestion. They talked about moving the mound back a foot. Really? I don't like that. I just want them to move the rubber back a foot so it's on the back side of the mound. <laughs> So they have to step uphill, <laughs> right? To throw. No, I like it. That 105.5 miles per hour is straight fire. Yes, it That's is insane. insane. You, okay, you literally could break the catcher's hand. Not not only that, mm-hmm. as a as a hitter, especially if if I mean. Some of them, yes, will be able to catch up to it, but most of them, they are taking a guess, a legitimate uh-huh. guess at yep. where the head of the bat needs to go and yep. swinging and hoping to God it's in the strike. So they're, they're taking a softball swing at it. Yep. They're just, just yep. throwing the bat head out there and yep. wherever it goes. Now, I did see Chapman this weekend. He The Yankees played the Royals, and he came in a couple of games. Mm-hmm. I never saw him get above 97. Mm-mm. Like He can't do it anymore? It's not that he can't do it anymore. I think they're actually encouraging him to kind of Cool it a little bit okay. because he needs to throw strikes and not walk a fucking shitload okay. of guys. New addition, that motherfucker. Yeah. Cool it now. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to the MLB. Uh, we've got uh, the Oakland Athletics. They are mm-hmm. averaging less than 8,000 people at a home game mm. for the regular season. That's awful. I bet those tickets are cheap. Oh, fuck, yeah. But, I mean, it's Oakland. $3 ticket night. Come on down. <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and call it, I, I think this is going to be the team that ends up moving. I really do. Well, I mean, their football it, team moved. 
I, I think that they are also <laughs> they, going to move. They're you know? in a, such a shit position where they're just right across the bay from San Francisco. That's exactly right. And the right. Giants have yeah. Northern California yep, sealed they up. Do. The A's are an afterthought. I mean, they weren't originally, well, neither were the Giants, I guess, yep. originally from that area. But the Giants got their first. The mm-hmm. A's went through, what was it, Philadelphia mm-hmm. and then Kansas City and yep. then California. So they're really not <coughs> even native. And the stadium that they play in is it was a dual purpose stadium for a long time and yep. it's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it only makes sense that they would end up in Vegas as well. That's actually what I was just going to say. You know, I think, I mean, it's I just end think up in that Vegas. makes sense. I do too. It, it'll yeah. still be a team west of the Mississippi. It'll yeah. still be a uh-huh. team in, in yeah. that same league. That region. I, that, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, the the Raiders are being, um, they're, they're showing up to games. They're selling tickets but, yeah. and they're doing fine. Yeah. I yeah. think that's probably going to be the next team. I think we're going to have the I Las agree. Vegas A's or yeah. something of that nature. Currently, let's see. Okay, we got the, the Padres, the Dodgers, the Angels. Mm-hmm. The Giants and the A's. So five teams in one fucking state. Right. We don't need right. that. We yeah. don't need that. Yeah. Yeah. I know I know. there's a shitload of people in California, but <clears throat> they, you got to separate it up. I'd bit. like to see them move back to Kansas City. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Have a <laughs> Kansas City. <laughs> support them two fucking teams. Yeah. When they can <laughs> barely support one. Ah, you know what? Move them to Wichita. Fuck. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I, I guarantee you we can get 8,300 in the that's fucking stadium. Damn right. We got a stadium that holds 10,000, motherfucker. God, that's right. Yep. The Fucking Wichita Turbo Tubs. Fuck mm-hmm. you. I love it. Have them play at the same time. Right. Um, <laughs> there you go. Um, but next thing, Clayton Kershaw is the L.A. Dodgers strikeout king. He broke the record for the L.A. Dodgers. He now has two. Th- well, he has more than that now, but he broke it at 2,697 strikeouts. So he is the uh, strikeout king for the Dodgers. Fourth all time on the list, I believe I saw. Uh, he was, was with close. the Astros for a little while, right? No, no. I mixed Where them was up, he too. He's always been in, uh, at L.A. What? Yeah. You're thinking of, you're, you're thinking of uh, oh, shit. Uh, either Verlander because Verlander uh, went from Detroit Verlander. to yeah, okay. Houston. I'm thinking Verlander. the one that I mix them up sometimes just for no other reason that they kind of look somewhat alike. But it, Madison Bumgarner's the other one, and he's at San Francisco. Yeah, that might be. And it. then okay. now he's at uh, no. Arizona now. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's Sorry. it's Clemens, no. Nolan Ryan, uh, Max Scherzer. Okay, and mm-hmm. then Scherzer's, then, uh, Scherzer's badass. Too. Kershaw. Yep. And um, I don't think Scherzer's anywhere near done. I don't either. Uh, next thing I want to move on. This is actually kind of controversial, and I don't know if you guys have heard a lot about this, but I sure should have. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but the benches cleared in St. Louis when the Cardinals were playing the Mets because of brush back or a brush back to um, Nolan Arenado. And uh, I think the Cardinals may or may not have hit two players, and, and I think the Mets may have hit two players. Mm. Um, and and it was kind of a big ordeal. I thought it was kind of entertaining. But the whole thing is, is that the players are talking about they are messing with the baseballs again. I don't know if you've heard about this, but there are players that like are making pitchers su- are? no. The major leagues are are messing around with the baseballs they're, again. A lot really? of people think they're deadening them, exactly. which goes against everything that the major leagues has been trying working to do. For. Yeah, you would think they'd be that juicing make them. Any sense at exactly. All. Yeah. The, there are but, players that are saying that they make solid contact and normally would hit the ball out of the it, fucking ballpark and it's going to in front of the warning that's track. That's what well, the here's, MLB here's, wants. They want that action. Yes, and, and here's here's just a fact of it. You, you can't really tell going through April. Uh, baseballs do not travel as far when they're cold. That's true. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah, and definitely. so that might be, but fuck, these guys are <clears throat> veterans. They ought to know that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, but you know when you hit it. You yes, do. you, you do. Yeah. You know. And you... you there's a very distinct sound when you make there solid is. contact. Yeah. Crack. There and is. if it's yeah. not making that sound, either something's wrong with the bats or the ball. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you, you kind of got to take the guy's word for it, or at least, I don't know if you got to take their word for it, but it holds some merit and they should be looking into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And the other thing is, though, is, is the main reason why they're bringing this up, and this was one of the main games that they were talking about, was if they are messing with the balls, it's also with the feel of the ball. So pitchers are losing control and possibly getting really, really close to these star players like Nolan Arenado. So are they they thinking that these brushing backs weren't necessarily on, on purpose? purpose? Correct. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of the thing. I They haven't came out with anything, obviously, probably won't. Major leagues, uh, the MLB is very, very hush-hush about this kind of shit anyways. Yeah, that's... Because they don't want anybody. Really, they've been so forthcoming with everything. They've been been so open about shit. God. Uh, But last but not least for the sports stuff, 
we've got the very first female to start in a minor league game. Kelsey Whitmore. Oh, yeah, wait. no, that was the that was the right one. There we go. Sorry, I, was, I, I tried. You're touching I my trying. buttons. You, you had it right the first time. Oh, God. I'm proud of her. She did great. Uh, yeah, awesome. she did. Oh, she she went 0 for two with a strikeout and a pop fly. All right, these things happen. And uh, Jeremy, what? Remember what we said whenever we would have a, a female in um, in professional baseball? What we would probably do? Would no, uh, we we, I don't. we we said we'd throw at her. Yeah, she got hit by a pitch. Oh, good. Ooh. Yeah. Um, uh, that's, yeah. Welcome to baseball. <laughs> that's right. That's, and, and I mean that in the best possible way. Same. They are not treating you different, right. which is what you deserve. If you deserve to be where you're at, and if that's the case, good for her. Sure. I, I legitimately do feel that way. If, if, that is, if you are legitimately good enough to be there, then good for you. However, if you're being given this position as some sort of a way to – pacify you know the fucking pushers here that's bullshit right um you know one night of going over two that doesn't mean nothing a lot of guys fucking go over two sure she made contact i give her that uh, sure i i don't know that i could stand in even at my best i don't know that i could have stood in against a minor league play a pitcher and yeah and necessarily got wood on the bat this is also the the atlantic league so it's not like you know it's still good it's still it's still what is that single a uh, I I don't remember. I'm not going to say yes or no. I, I want to say it's single A or independent, one of the two. I, I don't I, – I am legitimately not pushing for this all-inclusive bullshit. It should be the best players of course. make the teams. And if she's one of the best players that they – that tried out or whatever, yeah, great. And I, I 100% agree. Um, but – God, man, if she I just she got hope, I hope she's not getting paid what the guys are. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, shit. Uh, but anyways, yes, the uh, the NHL playoffs are going on right now. I wore my my shores my shoresy hockey you know jersey today for the celebration of that. Hey, the Maple Leafs won. Did they? Yeah. Uh, congratulations to those, those you know those those that's a people up in Toronto. Like that team. Yeah, the sham. Yeah, this is the sham. Really, you'd root for fucking Canadians? Yeah, you cocksucker. I played yeah, hockey with Canadian. a lot of Canadians growing up. Yeah, man. that's because they're the only ones who play that fucking horrific sport. You know what? Awesome. Canadian people are awesome, man. It's awesome. They're cool. Yeah. They're awesome in a way that sucks. There was yeah. a question from a listener who's from Canada, and he wanted Canada. <laughs> that's what I call it. I do it on purpose. But the, he was he was curious. He wanted to know specifically from you, Jeremy Joseph. Why do you hate Canadians so much? Because it's not America, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, that fucking, is the most American answer I've ever heard in my entire right? life. God, yeah. he's let just, let it, fucking Montana extend their borders and consume you. I'm just waiting for fucking salute the stars and stripes like you should. I'm just waiting. Eat for, some fucking cheeseburgers. Cut out that poutine nonsense. <laughs> Fuck your all dressed chips. Get okay. on board with the four different Captain Crunches, motherfucker. I'm just waiting for fireworks to start blowing out of his ass and for him to yeah. start singing the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good enough. All right, but that is the sports for this week. Yes, the NBA playoffs are going on too. And yes, we still don't give a shit. Um, but yeah. Now we get to move on to the fun shit. Half the country speaks fucking French. That's true. <laughs> Quebec. Is there a reason other than that to hate somebody? Not no, that's really. good. That's really good. Oh, God. So. But the funny thing is, is that. Why do you allow that? English speakers? Canadians in Canada do not like Quebec. Like it's kind of Canada, but they're like. Kick ah, them out. Fuck you. Well, yeah. and, and then their president did blackface a few years in a row. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's so, all right. That's yeah. the best thing he did. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. We get to the fun stuff. We get to go over real shit or horse shit All again. Right. This is starting to get a little bit fun. Uh, we're starting to get suggestions for real shit or horse shit. And, uh, yeah, it's self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out by the second one, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so you belong with our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the family. Mm, all, right. all right. But first one is from a fan and friend of ours on TikTok. I love this guy. Uh, he is at Switch Off at work. He wants to know. Real shit or horse shit. I don't clean up after masturbating. I just roll over and go to sleep. See, here's what's weird. I read this and I was trying to figure out where do you work at if you don't clean up after masturbating <laughs> at work? Is like you work at a fucking mattress store or yeah, something? Dude. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense yeah. now. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Is it real shit or horse shit for you there, Steve? 
Oh, I think that's horse shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a sticky mess. I, it is. And then you can't, yeah. you got to clean up. Yeah. I mean, use yeah. a sock. That's what yeah. most guys do. You got to do something. I don't. You know? I don't. I don't use a sock. I normally just, you know. <laughs> Going. What are you hiding at this point? <laughs> <laughs> I think the sock over a couple after a couple of times gets kind of hard and I, stinky, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. That's by the way, that's the answer to Jerry Seinfeld's joke about a sock getting lost in the laundry. It didn't. You're just your teenager didn't want you asking questions as to why it's crunchy. That's that's where it went. You didn't lose it in the fucking dryer. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Is that your answer, oh, like Jeremy? It. Uh, no, um, it's not. Uh, I only jerk off primarily on the toilet. And so rolling over and going to sleep <laughs> keeps me in the bathroom. And yeah. that's, I don't jerk off in bed. You do yeah. it. You you do a Blumkin to yourself? Mm-hmm. You jerk off while I, taking a shit? I wish I, a Blumkin is sucking your dick while you're taking a shit. <laughs> and believe me, if I could, I would. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be really awesome. Because uh, half the time that I go to the bathroom, wanna, I'm not taking a shit. I'm just jerking off in there. <laughs> oh, okay. That's just the only time I know that I won't if, get if you hassled. Could, if you could bend like that, you wouldn't need a squatty potty <sighs> That's either. That's true. Bend that little yeah thing. Bend you think like Beckham, Beckham can. <laughs> just get ready to right. Bend like Beckham. Oh darn! All right, mm-hmm. next one. Real shit or horse shit? I have no problem peeing in the shower. I pee in the shower when I'm not showering. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck yeah. It, it's a bigger target. I don't care. I'm peeing in the shower. Uh, My wife pees in the shower, really? by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Apparently, women relish the chance to pee standing up. Um, oh, Half the time, I actually pee off my porch, my front porch <laughs> yeah. at that. I, I, my dog fucks around to go to the bathroom all the time, and usually I have to pee while he's doing it, and I'm not going to wait on him. It's right. dark, and if you're watching me, you're a fucking pervert. Um, <laughs> that, that's your problem, not mine. Yeah. Uh, but, no, I love to pee in the shower. I've, I've done it. Now, the bathtub. Yeah. Is that cool? No, no. Well, it I mean, it's it goes. Here's the thing. Uh-huh. With it all, no water in it. Y- yeah. What if you've been stung by a jellyfish? <laughs> well, then, I get stung by those fuckers all the time. Kansas face. In I, Kansas, those lake jellyfish are yeah, fucking dangerous. No, I have them shipped in. Oh, okay. With, <laughs> with my pizza crust water. Right. <laughs> Great. Steve's going to be delivering them before too long. It's true. Right? It is true. Um. Okay. So I, I'll be honest. This is one of those things that. It, it, I understand that other people do it. This is not something that I do. I legitimately will take a piss in the toilet before, right before I get into the shower. So this is this is horseshit for me. Fucking weirdo. I know, I know, and it's okay. I, it's just something I just. Don't I do. will piss in the shower, and depending on how runny the diarrhea is, you can <laughs> oh my god, squat over the fucking drain too. <laughs> Why do you need to squat? <laughs> You're in the shower. Just <laughs> let it go. It's going to clean you off. Yeah. Then you got to take the shower head off and squirt the walls down. <laughs> Weird. It's a whole thing. So, yeah. Speaking well, I guess of doing if you that, save I'm, the pee. You can pee off the diarrhea from the shower wall. Oh God! This okay. Is no, nobody pees after they poop. That's true. No, it's always it's, pee first, then poop. That's true. Sometimes that's true. simultaneously, but yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. come on, mm-hmm. you're being ridiculous. But now, even that's dude. that's kind of rare. Uh huh. Okay, next one. Real shit or horse shit, the volume on my TV or radio has to be on an even number or I lose my shit. That is an OCD issue. This is real fucking shit to me. That is an OCD it issue. It has to be either an even number or on a five. It can't be on an odd number unless it's a five. That's real shit. Whatever number it's on for my wife not to bitch at me is where I leave Fuck. it. Fuck. Fair. So all the numbers are wrong. Mm, Jeremy? For me, it doesn't matter because it's just bars. I don't have oh. numbers on mine. Um, but here's the thing is that I'm actually more concerned with like what the TV companies do. Have you ever noticed you'll be watching something at a particular volume and then a commercial comes on? And now it's this fucking loud! 100%. Uh, I don't... Uh, Bye, Manscaped! <laughs> oh, yeah, no yeah. shit. Manscaped.com! Clean your balls off! <laughs> um, That's true. No mm. bullshit? You know when this happens? For The Office. When it goes to commercial? No, it's The Office. Like, whenever yeah. you're done with an episode and you go oh. on to the next one, yep. 
It the the yeah. intro music yep. for the office is fucking way louder yeah, than the actual show. By the way, is is it possible to hear that song and not just like bob your head? Nope. I I can't get enough of that. It is just so upbeat possible. and cheery. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times I could watch a marathon and I love it every fucking time. Hundred percent. This um, is the whitest shit. <laughs> <laughs> What? No. There's no there's Dude, black guy in there? No. Oh, we have talking even... about jamming out to the office theme song. <laughs> watching the hockey. The whitest shit oh, ever while dude, watching hockey. You, while we're watching hockey. You missed it. We've added a section here. Uh, bingo. We're right. going to play bingo later. Yeah. So it gets a lot wider after this. That's right. Uh, and then we're going to do yo-yo tricks. It. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, I really don't give a fuck about the number. Uh, okay. But it, it's... Just whatever fucking volume is comfortable for okay. me. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just I a think me this, thing. Yeah, it, this is most definitely a you thing. And even if it was a me thing too, hashtag me too. Yeah, I would um, not. Uh, I would change it now because it's what you do. Okay, fair enough. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. I immediately yell shotgun after finding out I'm going somewhere with a group of other people and I'm not driving. Uh. It depends on where we're going. If it's a road trip, I'm sitting in the back seat so I can sleep. Leave me the fuck alone. I, I am I am not a tall person, and I understand that other people that are taller than me need more foot room, so I normally sit in the back. So this is horse shit for me. Jeremy? There is something very special about the shotgun position. There is. Yeah, that's why I call it you, shotgun. You're just sitting there, and it's like, if something happens to him... I'm next in line. <laughs> it's, true. It's, yeah. it's like you're the first mate. Yeah. Like, there's some power to having that position. Even though I've never really exercised that power, I still like having it. <laughs> Fair enough. And I like knowing that there's people behind me and scooting my seat all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> you dick. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I got, I got short legs. That's, that's why I'm there. Uh, I think you're talking about your penis. Right. <laughs> the third leg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next one. Real shit or horse shit? I easily remember movie quotes word for word and use them randomly throughout the day when they apply. Been doing it since I was 12. Mm -hmm. This is such a guy thing. It is real fucking shit. Me yep. and my brother are on a whole new level. It will not even be a famous quote from a movie, just the way that it's said. We will be on the same page immediately, and then we will start doing lines back and forth from that movie at that exact moment in time. Mm -hmm. Real and shit. That's from Blow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Jeremy? That's, that's where you just suck each other's dick, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, this definitely used to be a thing with me. I used to, that, that was kind of a way that I would impress my classmates is I could memorize entire movies. Um, since I started doing stand-up, yeah. I kind of learned that it was hacky to do other material, so I would more take those lines as kind of like a pattern. Sure. And write my own lines but in that same like cadence oh that's how to be funny yeah 100%. yeah yeah I you just, just tailgate off other people exactly I just I call it drafting yeah whoa that's amazing awesome. yeah but this is totally real shit all right next one last one real shit or horse shit i do not wash my hands after going to the bathroom one or two. <laughs> this that's the loaded question right there. Yeah. <laughs> that means you admit to not doing it for one. I Here's, always wash my hands after I shower for sure because I don't know where I've been <laughs> and I just put my hands all over me. Right. Here's the deal. It depends on the bathroom for me. If I go into a gas station <laughs> bathroom that smells as soon as you walk in the store of curry and fabuloso. Oh yeah. The bathrooms are usually pretty fucking bad. Oh. They're they're a lot like uh, wherever in India, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Bangalore. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. real fucking Bangladeshi. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if so, you have to ask for the key, yeah, yeah. those are yeah. always. Fun. I'm probably <laughs> like my dick's way cleaner than any fixtures I can touch <laughs> That's in this true. place. So I'll grab a paper towel and open the door as I leave, but I'm not touching anything else. <laughs> yeah, if I'm going twosies, there's definitely a hand yeah. washing happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if I'm just peeing, chances are my dick is cleaner than anything in that bathroom. Yep. And why would I wash off that manscape.com ball toner smell? One hundred percent. Very true. That's actually true. That's uh, ninety nine percent uh, mm -hmm. bacteria free. I wear it like mittens. Right. Um, 
yeah, I'm the same thing. If I'm doing a twofer, it's it's you're getting your hand washed. But if you're peeing, you're probably mm-hmm. not. So next time you shake my hand, think about that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Moving on. Now we get to move on to the. Yeah, uh, they're basically giving you a hand job. They mm-hmm. are. That's right. That's why I chuckle every time I shake somebody's hand. <laughs> you wonder? I just peed. <laughs> After the live show, when you're shaking Jeremy's hand, just mm-hmm. yep. he's smiling yep. for a reason. You're yep. touching his dick. 100%. Uh huh. All right. Uh, moving on to the growing and popularity part of every single episode. This is bad advice with Jeremy. Guys, if you have some, uh, you know, something that you need some, some really bad advice for, Go ahead and send them in to us at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines uh, at Instagram. Uh, if Jeremy likes it, he will go ahead and give you a response to where he will give you the worst fucking advice ever mm-hmm. for that particular situation. We've been having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, yeah, send it to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. This week's uh, uh, bad advice comes from at MVFD420. He writes, Jeremy, I just. Yeah. Okay. He writes, Jeremy, I just started a new job and I am second in charge. Sweet, How man. do I get everyone who has been uh, has who has been there longer than I have and work below me to listen and respect me? MD four twenty. I assume that's Mad Dog. Is that their new? No, MV, M- MVFD MVFD four twenty. I should listen to things all the way through. You should. I should pay attention to people. I'm not gonna. Yeah. But I should. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, basically what this boils down to is an image thing. The way you project yourself, that's that's really what gets people's respect. Because they can tell what kind of person you are just uh, basically from the first time that they see you. So the best way to do this is you don't do it once you get to work. You do it as you're getting to work. You have to announce your presence with authority. Take the muffler off your car. <laughs> Make sure, because it doesn't matter. Even if you got a little four banger without a muffler, that shit's fucking loud. <laughs> and the way you come into the parking lot, only one way, pedal to metal. <laughs> fucking floor it. Give it everything it's got. If other people are coming into the parking lot at the same time, pass them. Lay <laughs> on the fucking horn. It won't matter. They can't hear it over your fucking engine. Um you know, if, if there's like a speed limit sign, like a 10 mile an hour speed limit sign coming into your parking lot, flip it off as you go by. You're the <laughs> fucking second in command. You are the first mate. You're riding shotgun of this whole fucking organization. Also, the guy in charge generally gets the best parking spot, right? Well, no, you can get a better parking spot than that. Maybe he's got the closest spot. I ain't talking spots. Park on the fucking grass. <laughs> Right on the sidewalk, right in front of the doors. Fuck, if you can get it in the building, do it. (laughs) And when you get out of the car, don't just go through the fucking door like any old fucking namby-pamby. Duke's a hazard, that motherfucker. (laughs) Weld your doors shut and go out the fucking side window. Now, once you get out of the car, then it's more about an image thing as far as the way you dress. Okay, you've really got to dress like you truly are. What the fuck are you doing? Don't do this, whatever the fuck this is, but dress like you are somebody important. Get yourself some boots. You don't wear shoes anymore. Get boots. Tall boots. Army boots. Platform fucking Gene Simmons style boots if you have to. Take your pants. You tuck them into those boots. (laughs) Lace them up. Get them tight. Now you might be thinking, well, I wear shorts to work. How do you deal with that? Stop it. (laughs) Don't fucking wear... It's no wonder you don't get any goddamn respect, dude. Fucking wear your long pants. Wear a slack, not the short pant, you jackass. Tuck them into the boots. Then going up from there, you got to accessorize. Neckerchief. Oh, God. We blow style. Around there with a fucking dude. Or if you don't want to do that, maybe you don't have access to a neckerchief. I know times are tight. You just spend all your money welding your doors shut. Um... Bolo tie. Also, and, and I don't care if you're wearing a fucking t-shirt. Bolo tie. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the big gaudy fucking deal in the middle. Also, great big fucking belt buckle. If you can find some stainless steel like dinner plates and have somebody <laughs> make a custom, you know, belt buckle out of that, do it. Bigger the better. That's what I say. And then do you gotta wear a hat? You don't have to. But you have to. <laughs> Biggest fucking hat you can find. Sombrero if you want to. Don't go foam rubber. That looks childish. But, you know, go with like a big Indiana Jones style hat or a big 10 gallon hat. Or, or like I say, a sombrero would be fucking great. Um, then 
All right, now it's all about the way that you present yourself. This is going to be hard. You're going to have to really keep this in mind. Like, you're going to have to remind yourself to do this. Very square turns. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you whip <laughs> to the side. <laughs> Click your boots together as you do it. That Nothing presents authority like a man who makes very square turns. <laughs> and also the way that you talk to people. No matter how far away they are from you, bullhorn. <laughs> Always talk to people through a bullhorn. This way, you're going to really project the image of somebody who knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. You're the guy in charge. Next thing you know, you're not going to have to worry about being, you know, second in charge. That guy ahead of you is going to quit. He knows you're gunning for him. You're going to take over shit and you're going to take over the world, man. <laughs> Tuck those fucking jeans into the pants or into the boots. That's uh, that's my advice. <laughs> okay. I was fucking solid. That was pretty solid. Thank I've you. always thought when it comes to management, I emulate uh, the 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 guy, Mr. Clark from Stand By Me. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was just uh, gonna okay. carry a bat yeah. everywhere I went, no matter what job it is. Okay. Even carrying mail. If I get if I get promoted to a supervisor carrying mail, I'm just gonna carry a bat. Is he the guy who ran the junkyard? Well, kind of. It was a high school. Yeah. Yeah. From Stand By Me. Yeah. Something like that. Mr. Clark or, carried a. Was it Stand By? That's Back to the Future. Probably. Pro yeah, something like that. Yeah. Who knows? But Stand that by me was that, uh, that that where they went down the train tracks and what, saw the dead body. Saw the dead body, yeah. That's that one. Oh, yeah. It's a great What's movie. What's the other one, then? I don't know. Fuck. Lean on me? Lean on me. Yeah, that's what Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman. Yeah, he carried a bat with him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Morgan Freeman. Okay. Yeah, Morgan Freeman. Thank okay. you very much at MVFD420. Hope you that hope that that you know helps helps your situation because uh, you know when the night has come has come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's uh, stand by me. Yeah, it, it is. is. It is. Now we get to move on. Lean to on me. <laughs> shit. <laughs> now we get to when you're not fuck. strong. Now be a friend. I'm gonna turn his mic down. Um, no, I won't. Uh, but now we get to move on to overrated. I'll help you carry <laughs> on. Just nonstop. Not Bill stop. Withers, right? Mm -hmm. Peacock noise. That's how you drown that shit. <laughs> um, anyways, overrated. I was being overrated. the epitome of soulful. I know. And you, you come are. in here with your peacock bullshit. I know. That's what I do. What are you, fucking NBC? No, I'm Derek. No, not, you're no, not. I'm not. No, I'm I not. would I'm so much. wish you were fucking Derek no, right now. No, I would never fuck Derek. But anyways, now we're getting on to <laughs> overrated or underrated. I Again, see, what you did see that? No, uh, no, you didn't no. give yourself a rim shot. I know. Uh, did I? There you is. didn't. I did now. There you go. Well, it's too late now. Okay, it was it was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is figuring out where these buttons are, and I don't like it. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, self-explanatory. If you do have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on Sidelines at Instagram, and also now the Q and A on TikTok. So yeah, take advantage of that. Um, first one. This is a uh, this is a fan's question. This is from Aiden Way. He wants to know overrated or underrated milfs. What fuck are you serious? Dude. They're amazing. Way way underrated. Y yeah. If for you sure. ha if you have the choice to go hot daughter or milf, it's always milf. always milf. She's going to teach you shit yes. you don't even think about and then in your dreams. She drapes. knows how to fucking cook in the morning exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. 100% underrated. Mhm. Mm Jeremy, listen, you know the love and admiration I have for all of our listeners. Um, but this guy really needs to shower with a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> you you answer the question with the, MILF. Mom, I'd like to fuck. That's I'd like to fuck her. If she was underrated, you wouldn't like to fuck her. Or if she was overrated, you wouldn't like to fuck her. The fact you want to fuck her says she's underrated. Right. Mm -hmm. Fuck your mom is what I'm saying. Chan yeah, <laughs> chances chances are or your aunt. Chances you know. are they don't want kids, or they've yeah. already been fixed. Yeah. Yeah, this is a win-win win situation. Yeah, can't get, There's uh, yeah. way way too many positives about mills. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, next one: overrated or underrated? Shout out to this guy, Coach Kent Murphy. Who's that? Oh, you well, don't let's know. Let's break this down from a fundamental standpoint. No shit. 
Oh man, Coach Kit Murphy is. He does un- instructional videos for kids about baseball. Yes, uh, probably the most in- informative. Inspir- oh yeah, inspirational. Uh, yeah. Even it's all about hitting dingers. How you never bunt. Yep, that's right. He sounds and underrated. If you, if you get the bunt sign, if you get the bunt sign, go in there with a really bad attitude, like, mm-hmm. and go ahead and tell everybody whenever you're going to bunt. And just I'm gonna have to fucking bunt, and then don't hit dingers. Underrated as hell, Jeremy. I'd say he's rated about right at this point. <laughs> it started off he was he was definitely underrated, but I think he's gotten his accolades. He's uh, he's he's nationally known. I don't well has he, not come on this show like he said he might want to. Uh no, I mean maybe. Uh, I think but, he was just pacifying you, but probably, uh, probably. I think if you weren't here, he'd love to come on. Probably. I no. wonder if he can host. Shh, probably. Shh. He probably can. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's at Nick Hall Comedy is uh, is uh, Coach Kit Murphy. You can check out all of his stuff. It's really good. I will say I tried drinking this uh, liquid IV. Yeah, how'd it go? Oh, yeah, it's so gross. Okay. Oh, it's horrible. That sucks. It's you want a different bottle of water? Overrated. Yeah. You want a different bottle of water? I mean, I don't know. Here oh, in a minute. Well, okay, we'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, all right, next one. Overrated or underrated? This is a fan's question. It's uh, from Tyler. I apologize if I'm not na- announcing it right, but Tyler either plaque or placky. Uh, but he wants to know. It's got to be Placky. Why would you put the fucking E on there? After? I, I know. It's it's probably like Plot. He's certainly not Canadian. It'd be P-L-A-Q-U-E. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but he wants to know overrated or underrated. Plasky? No. Mm. Uh, overrated or underrated. A well-maintained. Jones. Oh, what if it's Jones? No. We're just mispronouncing yeah, it. Yeah, it's all not. of the letters are silent. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> his name actually it's pronounced Bill Wither. <laughs> Lean on me. <laughs> Great. Uh anyways, overrated or underrated a well-maintained bush on a woman. Very underrated. What? They don't, they don't do it anymore. They don't fucking do it anymore because they're lazy. Well, that's overrated. When it comes then. to show, what? That's bad. Overrated is bad. Overrated's bad. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Yeah. It's, I it's, feel like if they you should saw have a just with, a tiny, well-maintained right. oh. landing strip or something. Yes. There should just be so something it's, there. It's, it's underrated. You're saying okay. what? What? It, what? This is basically saying is if you saw a woman with a nice, well-groomed bush, you would be yeah. like, great. Yeah. It's okay. Nice so it's to, underrated. Nice to dive is what you're saying. Into. Okay. Fine. Uh, nice to dive into. Uh, I'm gonna go with overrated on this. Um, I'm I'm sorry, but girls will get like. A Brazilian wax? Mm-hmm. That's my shit. I, I, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. That you go through that awkward moment with the person I'm hoping is an older woman in, mm-hmm. in her 50s. A MILF, would you say? A MILF yeah, doing a milf, this to you. Sure. If you yeah. if you have a guy do it, it's kind of weird. That's a callback to the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks, Steve. I love it when you're here. <laughs> but he's not wrong, by the way. I know he's not. <laughs> you should drink some more of that shit. It's uh, out. It's, it's it makes it tastes <laughs> so fucking horrible. Oh, fuck! It, it makes you funny. Uh, but but no, it, it's it's Since very. Scotty, you should drink. That. <laughs> Give me some of that shit. Um, but no, it's it's so so overrated. Mm-hmm. I, I really do. Uh, I, my wife is is a Brazilian through and through. And I like that much better than a bush. I don't want a landing strip. I don't. I don't want anything down there. So yeah, it's uh, it's overrated. Jeremy, well, show us some pictures. I guess. And yeah. We'll figure <laughs> no, out right. what. Oh, I got some <laughs> <laughs> of my. I, I got an album. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, this is definitely underrated. Uh, of the few things I still do well in bed, mm-hmm. uh, cunnilingus is. is Probably <laughs> top in the charts. When I uh, look at my him, wife, I think Cunnilingus. My wife he would have left me a long time ago if if I was not good at that. Mm-hmm. And nothing ruins a session of eating pussy quite like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you trim it up, and I'll munch that box all day long. That's uh, that's where I'm at. I like it. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated robotic vacuums? I mean, if they're not shaving their box, they got all the time in the world to fucking vacuum. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why the fuck we need robots to do it for them. Uh, you know? 
Yeah. That's, yeah. It's a good point. I think they're overrated. Okay. All right. Um, Plus, they drag shit all over the carpet. <laughs> Damn it. I was They just... drag shit all over the carpet. They just run through a pile of dog <laughs> shit and just smear it. Every... Dude, can you imagine what would have happened in Johnny Depp's bed had the fucking iRobot got up there and just smeared it <laughs> everywhere? Robot. How would it have gotten up there? I want well, to let's play this out. They they're are tricky. fucking tricky. Sure, they Think are. They're this. fucking okay. robots. So, it's so like so your the... fucking pocket computer here. Yeah. They're fucking listening. They can figure out how to Here's get up the in the bed. Here's what happened. Johnny Depp. Is fuck, he's asked to mouth and Amber Heard all day long. Okay? Sure. They're, She's they're getting begging crazy. Frass they're mouth. getting fucking crazy. She the won't sheets, suck a dick unless it's been in her exactly. ass. Exactly. <laughs> the sheets. Yeah, well, it's, it's seasoning. Yeah. She, <laughs> sir. She's. She's cool fucking him. the the fucking right. the, the the covers have just come off to the side. Here uh -huh. comes the little rah, 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 eye row, but what do they do? I don't know if they sound like Pac-Man or not. Yeah, I don't have one. I'm broke. But to totally. anyway, this fucking thing just starts chewing on that. It catches and then just climbs up onto the fucking bed. Oh yeah. Gets over, hits the pile of shit, and it's just that's it. I mean, you smear okay. it. Okay. Now I got this mental house. picture. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is way overrated because the story that Steve just talked about has happened to one of my friends named Chandra that I work with. Uh, she ended up ha like going home for two hours on her lunch break because her dog took a shit, and mm -hmm. that Roomba smeared that shit all over the living room, and she had she spent two hours cleaning the shit up. Oh, so, fuck. yeah, overrated. I'm out. My yep. wife can do it just fine. Jeremy? I, honestly, I thought I had one until I walked in on my wife vacuuming. I just would always come home and <laughs> shit was clean. Uh, <laughs> So I keep wanting to drink this. And we I'm have that kidding. laundry robot. <laughs> uh, that laundry robot works good. Huh? Yeah, she, it does, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've never, still never seen it, though, have you? I don't look. <laughs> okay. I'm too busy downstairs playing PlayStation. Okay. Which, oh, fuck, I forgot that, that other part about my, uh, my week. I, I'll bring it up next week. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Anyways. But, yeah, I... Uh, I, I don't I don't know I've never seen them um I'm not a filthy fuck who lets my dog shit in the house I, <laughs> I, if he does I pick it up right when he gets done no we we work and so like uh, my yeah oh I don't fucking work no but your wife works from home so she's there all the is time is that what you call yeah. it yeah a housewife right well it's prostitute oh god <laughs> it's the oldest profession fellas yeah. it's true mail order mm -hmm. Good money. she's the world's only prostitute accountant <laughs> anyways <laughs> jesus i'm so sorry she's the only prostitute that files her taxes she uh, keeps very meticulous <laughs> records god that's so bad i feel so i'm bad. getting these baby wipes so i can write them off <laughs> I, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I slipped in a finger, so I got an extra 25 for that. So. <laughs> got a new client. Her name's Amber. Anyways, uh, next one. My wife wouldn't have sex with an Amber. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Nah, she might. Uh, maybe. Amber shit in the bed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All of them. Every single yeah. one of them. That's, that's just a one. That's, that's like the new Karen. And yep. Amber is somebody who's shit, shit in, in your the bed. bed. Yep. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Next one. Last one. Yeah. What? Overrated mm -hmm. or underrated? tornadoes oh they're fine you know as long as they're tearing uh, up other people's shit yeah. <laughs> they're fine uh yeah this i i i really like them this is something i'm gonna say is <laughs> underrated i love chasing tornadoes it's something i just i fucking love every minute i it it, it really baffles me that people that live in other states are scared of these yeah. Um, but then again, I'm also what? a person, hang on, I'm also a person that hasn't had my fucking house taken out by one. Mm -hmm. Never been in a dangerous mm -hmm. situation close enough to a tornado that I, I'm aware of. Um, but I think they're way underrated as well because, yeah, they can do a shitload of damage. They're so pretty cool. they're, they're pretty fucking cool. But not as scary as you think they would be. No. How about, uh, how about you, Jeremy? Are we rating them as far as... How you want as to. a force of nature, not the death machines or, that they are. Is yeah, just, I was going to say cute. they are they're cute. They're I, cute. I I don't know anybody who's ever been in the path of a tornado and went all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, actually, I know a guy. He drives a vehicle called the Tiv, and he and he has a camera. That's true. That is, that is true. shooting straight up. That he's been trying to get. 
actual footage of him driving into a fucking tornado for 15 plus years and Reed has Timmer's not. Reed Timmer's done it. I'm gonna, Reed Timmer has, but not, yeah, the, other not the other I, guy. Yeah. I legitimately hope he gets it. His <laughs> I do wish. too. And uh, that'll be the last we hear of him. <laughs> um, my neighbor actually is a storm chaser. And my question has always been, what are you going to do when you catch it? <laughs> uh, they're tough to ride. Uh, they're no. Um, having seen up close, I've been in a cellar while one. It didn't level the building, but it sure tore the fuck out of the roof and went over the fucking building I was in. Yeah, and it shook the ground. It, it's it's a fear that I've only experienced on a couple of occasions in my entire life. What was her and, name? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 357 Magnum. <laughs> um, <laughs> automatic uh, cock and gun. That, uh, nice. <laughs> but no, it's... it's um, they're fucking horrible. Yeah. They're, yeah, they really are bad. fucking horrible. Uh, I, I, I can't stand them. I had the vortex of a tornado... Not not an act. It didn't form into an actual tornado, but it was a swirling wind form in my fucking house. Kicked my fucking tree over, tore the fucking shingles off my roof. Uh, it was a scary fucking thing. Yeah. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I hate them. Fair enough. All right. But we wouldn't have the Wizard of Oz without them, huh, guys? That's <laughs> right. Yeah, we, hey, we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah. Jesus, no shit. By the way, that's the most over fucking played joke for people when you talk no. to them. It, I've never it, even it, heard that. Ugh. It's so fucking ass backwards. They keep calling, "Hey, you're in the land of Oz, huh?" No, oh, no, no. That, <laughs> no. that was the whole point of the movie. Yeah. We're not in <laughs> Kansas anymore. Right? We're in Oz. It's a whole different fucking place. Yeah. The military name from anybody from Kansas is always fucking Toto. Her sister was, was a witch. What? <laughs> 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 Grow up! Bro, grow up! His fucking head! Her sister was a witch! She's in a fucking bubble! <laughs> what was that? What was her sister? A princess! <laughs> fucking great. I wonder what was the point of the argument? No, I don't he, know. He was on Tosh.0 one time. Like they, they broke that down or whatever, and I can't remember what it was. But I mean, that wasn't shit, a real argument, was it? Yeah, yeah it, was, it really was. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was really that mad. He was that pissed off about... I wish I could get that angry about real things. Yeah, you know what? You know what the funny part about that whole thing is? Huh. He's wrong. But yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. she literally called herself a good witch. Yeah, good one. Yeah. So, anyways, moving on. Now we get to get on to... I think she went to Hogwarts? Mm, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. That was... I don't know. Maybe it was called something else. It may have, It was way earlier. I don't know. Time. What's Kansas's school of witchcraft and wizardry? Methamphetamine. Oh, uh, yeah, genital wart. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, that's Kansas's... Uh, yeah. Sure yeah. it is. Yeah, South not, Broadway. Not, not Hogwarts. <laughs> right. Genital wart. Uh, yeah, but anyways, all right, moving on. We get to get to questions and preguntas. Guys, same Woo! thing. Yeah, that's absolutely right. If you have any questions uh, that you would like us to answer on the show, especially if they're good ones, we'll uh, give you a shout out and read them on the show. Send them to us, especially now at the Q&A section of our TikTok and Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. Fucking self-explanatory. Figure the fuck out. Mm -hmm. First question, blank. You can never have just one. Mm. Well, if you're in Thailand, it'd be Lady Boys. <laughs> okay, uh, multiple of those. Huh? They call yeah. themselves that too. Yeah, they, they, do. Know, they do. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, shocking. Hey, it's got to be US. an Asian to be a Lady Boy, but sure. uh, that, that's what they like to be called. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I went very real answer for this. This is a wife. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. I've had two. I'm on my first one right now, but yeah, I have. Time. Oh, it's just there a matter of time. time. Matter of time. So Jeremy has she had is, two. You she is going to find so two. much better of a man. See? Yeah. Uh, See? Well, no, she's going to find a man. Uh, she hasn't found the first one yet. Or a woman. You never know. That's true. Well, yeah. that woman will be more of a man than you are. That's <laughs> true. Fuck you. Uh, There's a couple of them at the Looney Bin the other night. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's good. All right. How about you, Jeremy? Um, two things: power tools. Very uh, true. Yeah, 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 that's that's definite. And firearms. Fuck yeah! I, I don't know anybody who just has a gun. Uh, they, Derek. Derek. Do I really know him? Nah. No. I mean, I like no to think I do, but him. he won't let anybody close to him. He's, yeah. he's the only person I know that has a gun that's scared to shoot it. Yep. Uh, but anyways, that's that. Uh, next question. Name a dating site for people with alopecia. Okay, so what I did here is I played off of uh, our time. 
Okay. You know, the dating site for older people? Mm, yeah. And uh, I would just call it Jada's Time. Jada's Time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I... <sighs> I, I did uh, I did a couple I had uh, I had I had shinyheads.com mm -hmm. there you go um, it's hairstyle but I hear it's also patchyheads.com because yeah. you know that you got to shave it yep um, but then I did uh, slapsfromwill.com duh you go. what How about, about GI Jane two <laughs> yeah GI Jane two dot com fuck yeah there very you good go. damn it How about dot you? net dot net <laughs> <laughs> yeah How about you Jeremy. <laughs> Uh, flakymates.com. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Next question. A woman that goes from one man to the next is called blank. Heather. That was the name of my first ex wife. Okay. okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> Your first yeah. ex wife. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's only been yeah. one so far. Actually, I, I, I've got a couple for this well go right on ahead scotty tiffany christy ashley stephanie and emily they all end in e right mm -hmm. but they actually have like a fucking y at the end mm -hmm. that's your first red flag however except that, for stephanie and nicole no no nicole is the last one she is an uh, she's one of those rare ones that mm -hmm. gets kind of pushed into that grouping because she's a cunt too so that's mine Jeremy? I didn't realize we were just naming names. I thought we had <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want the low-hanging fruit of a whore? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was just thinking like a pogo stick. <laughs> okay. Or a hopscotch. <laughs> yeah. I like those. That's good. Thanks, man. You're welcome, buddy. That gives me no solace. How about, the, how about the rim shot right there? Does that help? Nope. Okay. Uh, next one. What is something on your bucket list? Uh, mine is a real one, and it is to be on New Faces with the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. That's a good one. I yeah. think that's a great one. Just yeah. for airs? That's what they call it in Canada. Just what? It's French for Just for Laughs. Oh, okay. Just for air. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've got two. Uh, both of them are real. So the, my first one is to uh, buy a yacht. That's that's number one. Uh, if I if I get in wealthy enough to where I don't have to own a house, I just have a yacht, that's fucking numero uno. Uh, but my other real one is uh, to be on the podcast with Joe Rogan. Oh, that'd be cool. Yep. That'd that'd be that's, cool. That's, yeah. That's my numero. That's probably actually my number one. That's more realistic than the, than the, <laughs> the first one. That's pretty good. How about you, Jeremy? I want to be a Paul Bear at Benny Agbayani's funeral. <laughs> 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 that is so fucking great. Just, and I want to be the first one to kick a fucking pile of dirt in on him. <laughs> That's because so fuck him. <laughs> He's not even a bad guy. Just fuck probably him. not. Fuck him. Probably not. He he went from being a major league baseball player to a, a luggage loader at a fucking Hawaiian airport. Right. Uh, <sighs> you know, and he he never really did anything to anybody to hurt anybody. But fuck him. <laughs> this is all true, by the I way. Like it. Yeah. All right. This is by the by far the most play he's gotten in the last ten years. Probably this podcast. In this podcast talking That's about the only thing yep. keeping him alive. That's right. All right. Last question: What would be your rough sex safe word? Well, for me, it would be one that I can't pronounce because I'm not a fucking pussy, so I don't need a safe word. Uh, nope. It's really more of a danger word, if exactly. you ask me. Nope. Yep. More. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, mine's more of a phrase, and that's that's my butthole. No. Yeah. No. no. That if I if I say that that no stop. I, I want you to doing. say that while she's <laughs> gagging you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing that can save you is for you to say that's my butthole. <laughs> oh no, no, that's that's my phrase. I say that. Stop what you're doing. How about you, Jeremy? Anti disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> Yeah. It's the longest word in the English language. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? I thought about this, uh, and I wasn't going to take it, but uh, like a German word. Yeah. Remember, remember Euro trip when it's oh, like, oh, yeah. This is Van der <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it turns out it's like a gun for a yeah. fucking angel. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. oh, hmm. Okay. Farfig <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> exactly. That uh, just means shit. you want to do this in the back of a VW Beetle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. It's called doing it Herbie style. Right. 
All right, guys. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram and our Q&A at Laughing on the Sidelines on TikTok. But now, that's right. Now we get to move on to a very fun part of every single episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I'm not yeah. doing the I'm not doing the <laughs> thing anymore uh, because it's more. Uh, but anyways, uh, last week um, I'm very surprised that I got second place out of all of that with the Baja. Men. You people fucking suck. Whoa! <laughs> I, I mean, I looked at my picks afterwards and I went, Jesus fucking Christ, Scotty, you're retarded. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna guess that I just went too sophisticated. My yeah. my picks were too good. Yeah, they were. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. People were afraid of my pick. I, and I think the person that probably had the shittiest out of everybody though was Derek, and he fucking won. So yes, our our fans have zero class. Right, they listen to us. <laughs> That's right. I mean, Jesus Christ, what, what Groucho yeah. Marx. Right. Famously said, I would never belong to any club that would have me as a member. <laughs> right. Uh, but anyways. They deserve um, what they get. So that means that because <laughs> that means because uh, Derek is gone, he does not get his championship picks. In fact, he forfeits the fuck out of them. Nice. And uh, because I came in second, I get the championship picks. So thank you very much. I am champion by proxy. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but as always, our guest always gets to have the first pick of every draft, and Jeremy will take the sandwich picks for this one. So uh, this Which week's... is very appropriate, given the draft we're having. Exactly. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. This week's mm-hmm. draft is our favorite fast food items. That means anything. Fast food, sides, desserts, anything. So mm-hmm. uh, there you go. Fast food items. We're going to start off with Steve. You get first pick. Steve, what is your number one overall pick? To be very, very, I have to, it's the the item, right? It's the item. Okay. The double cheeseburger from White Castle. Oh, okay. It's better than the single because you okay. get more meat and you get cheese on it and a little more bun and okay. more onions. And okay. It's yeah, we, we get the concept of a double burger. So good. This is, so good. But so much better. I don't know fuck, why. What's fucked up about that whole entire situation? White Castle was actually I know, it started it's here. It started in Wichita, Kansas, here. and we I have don't a have theory. one. I have a theory. They met Wichitans? Yeah, no. Well, they've had to work with the city of Wichita because I've had to work with the city of Wichita, and as soon as I can leave here, I'm done too. <laughs> and I will never return, no matter how successful my chain becomes. Okay. If I have you know who one of the original co founders founders of of white castle was harold and kumar <clears throat> that's right <laughs> yes i knew it yeah. um walt of the waltz oh, restaurants waltz here Peters? around oh, town okay oh, walt okay. is actually credited with why the hamburger is flat okay he mm-hmm. was pissed off at his partner at white castle mm-hmm. and um slammed the spatula down on the meatball that they were cooking and it cooked faster oh i'll be damned and the reason white castle burgers have the five holes in yeah. the patty yeah so you can cook them without turning them there you ah, go All i right. always try and stick my dick in them yeah <laughs> how's that work i mean you can if you're hard enough you can get through there anyway yeah, you don't need the holes. It's, you it's, don't actually need a hole I, i'll force my dick right through a burger it's patty still pretty loose yeah i've been white castle though uh in, if you get them from here in wichita they're they're from sam so they're frozen so you yeah. kind of have to let them thaw I my mean, dick's pretty hot. Depends okay. on what you're into. Okay. All right, fine. How I keep you? my dick at no less than 250 <laughs> degrees at all times. <laughs> okay. My dick's got disco fever. Nice. Uh, all right. Uh, Jeremy, do you want to go ahead and announce your pick for you? Is it even a fucking choice? Yeah. The fucking fast food item of all fast food items? Mm-hmm. The motherfucking McRib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew it was fucking Yikes. coming. Yikes. It's there good. is nothing better. Barbecue restaurants all over town quiver in fear every fucking November when that thing comes around. That's real pork swimming in that sassy sauce. It is. Kind of. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. You lost the it. draft. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trust me. You People are going to love fucking my fucking picks from here on out. Lost. Just fucking go. Fucking Stop draft. talking. Just fucking go. God. Quit right. flapping your gums. Um, I, I'm, this, this is my real number one pick. If, if you've ever been really, really fucking drunk and had a hangover the next day, mm-hmm. let me tell you what that fucking cure is, and that is mm-hmm. McDonald's French fries. Those are the best French fries out of anybody. Uh, don't bullshit me and what? tell me I, otherwise. I don't give a fuck what gourmet restaurant you go to. I have never had better French fries than McDonald's. That's exactly right. 100%. Go again. 
Uh, all right. And my next pick, uh, near and dear to my Christian heart, I, I've got to take him. I'm going to take the spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I more just agree with their personal policies, but yeah, whatever. You so, shouldn't be open on Sundays, motherfuckers. Is it on it's me now? Jesus's day. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Jeremy. No, it's me. It's oh. Jeremy. Go ahead, Jeremy. What do you got? Motherfucking double double, y'all. Double double. It's in and out. Uh, yeah, they don't make and it, them better. Mm-hmm. It's true. That's that is true. true. Yeah, that is I true. I get you. Uh, double double with everything is amazing. Okay, Steve, you get two picks back to back. Well, sir. you had talked about being drunk, and I get drunk a lot. Yeah, so you do. at three o'clock in the morning, there is nothing better than a Renee's Supreme Burrito Ooh. with some rolled tacos. Supreme. Oh, is that two things or is that? It's two things. So just go with the Supreme Burrito. Okay, Supreme Burrito. Yeah, you could take the tacos from Renee's, and then we are going. Yeah, from Renee's, For- and then we are. And going you got to write it like that, otherwise people are going to think you're. Ta- oh yeah, Burrito yeah, Supreme yeah, from Taco no, no, no. Bell. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Yeah, but if you first of all in Wichita, we have a place called Renee's. It's open twenty four hours. Yeah, and yeah. it's fucking good, it's especially really, really when you're good. fucked up. Yeah, it's the best yep. when you're fucked up. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the Nacho Supreme from Taco Grande. Okay, Nacho Supreme. That's a good pick. That's it's a really that, God. Yeah. Are there any it's around so anymore? Good. Yeah, uh, there's three of them in Wichita, and they're all over Hayes too. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, Jeremy, you get number three pick, dude. I'm going to go with the KFC Bolt. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm I'm actually surprised. I was thinking mine would not come back to me. Uh mm. my my next pick is going to be none other than the Big Mac motherfucker. That's, really with that fucking gay. sauce. Oh my god, there's that, a fucking jingle about it. Two all beef patties, special sauce, that, lettuce, that, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. How is we that all not, know that. How um, is that not the best <clears throat> fucking pick? Because uh, of it's, the, uh, it's not very good. Uh, you say make rib, I'm gonna fucking punch you. Lettuce, pickles, onions, okay. sauce. All right, <laughs> all of that suck. Uh huh. If they could just put meat and cheese and take out that fucking ridiculous middle piece of bread, okay, that'd be a good mm-hmm. sandwich. That's a that's a uh, that's a flavor saver, is what that is. Mm, sure, it is. is what it is. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna win the draft with this pick right here because no, you're not. I am. I am. I totally am. What are you picking the fucking McRib again? No, nope. you can pick it twice. <laughs> nope. that's how good it is. No, this is something that's very, very integral to your breakfast, and you have to have it when you have a sandwich from McDonald's, and that is the McDonald's hash brown. Those are pretty good. Do you eat anywhere you other than McDonald's? Mm, I was going to say, yeah, there's after no I'm, variety. After here I'm at all. fucked up, no, that's true. Yeah, I, I like it. Are you just fucked up that often? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 that's right. That's good shit. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay, Jeremy. My turn. Yep. <laughs> Taco Bell double decker taco. Okay, I, I I'm thinking. Okay, all right. My brother invented that. You know. Oh, did he? Yeah. Uh, you remember oh. Golden Corral used to have their like. Well, you probably don't remember, but you might remember they mm-hmm. used to have that like endless salad bar thing. Yeah. With oh, a yeah. taco oh, yeah, yeah, bar yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah. My brother, long before Taco Bell ever did, would smear beans on a fucking uh, soft shell, wrap it around a hard shell, and. And fill it with meat and cheese and fuck the lettuce. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll my brother that. invented that. The funny so taco. Congratulations, Ed. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Steve, you get two. Uh, I am going to go with the Chipotle barbacoa Ooh, burrito. No. I do right. like a barbacoa. I do. Yeah. I don't even know what meat it is. And Probably muskrat. That's right. And he already took my pick for the double-double. So I am going to say the uh, in and out Animal fries. Ooh, okay. All right. Animal fries are legit. What is that with uh, Thousand it's Island cheese, on it? It's cheese and Thousand Island and chili. Because there is, everybody knows that. We don't live in California, but everybody in California is tired of hearing they got the secret menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's no shit. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, your last pick, buddy. Last, but certainly by no means least. Okay. Blizzard. Okay. It's pretty good. All right. You don't get fucking better than that. It's a pretty good one. I'm actually, I could eat all of that in one meal, by the way. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm pumped. I'm mm. fucking pumped. What I McDonald's thought, item uh, are you going to talk to us about fu- now? <laughs> no. The I, ice cream, my ice cream chicken machine's McNuggets. broken. Nuggets. Don't even try no. it. No. A quarter pounder with cheese. No. Miss Pizza. 
<laughs> Dude, I the McPizzas were so they fucking were good. Oh, they were, they I were loved awesome. those. They things. were the original Hot Pocket. Oh, they were so fucking good. Caution, filling may be hot. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's yep. uh, that's the uh, original masturbator is actually what that is. Mm-hmm. That's the original pocket pussy. Is Don't the, take uh, my fucking jokes, Scotty. The, 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 I'm giving you credit. I said that's what Jeremy actually came up with. Oh, I'd love um, to do that on stage, uh, Scotty. But this is probably... Oh, no, i got to go buy Hot Pocket. Again, this is one of my favorite things uh, in the pocket. entire world. Mm-hmm. But uh, Popeye's... Biscuits, love that chicken from Popeyes. What the fuck? However, I don't just go yes. order a box of biscuits? biscuits. Yes. Have you tried their chicken? That's the worst yeah. part of that place. It's, no, no, the biscuits are pretty good, but their chicken is kind of what I no. enjoy better than anything. I no. like the shrimp tackle box. The, yeah, the, they have great food at Popeyes, but you they can't leave, the leave with biscuits without the biscuits. With yes, the you fucking can. Honey, I've, oh, I've done it before. Try putting that on the fucking biscuit in the car. Oh, mm-hmm. I can. Mm-hmm. I can oh, do it. Yeah, but you're talented. Always, your wife usually drives. So, uh, <laughs> no, she does She's the man in the relationship. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, but no, there's, she shaves her penis. There's, mm-hmm. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of other things I could have picked. I stuck with McDonald's for a majority of them. But, um, the, uh, I just think you're an uncultured swine. No, chicken quesadillas from Taco Bell. One that I don't think anybody other than people that live here in Wichita would understand, uh, which is why I went away from it, was uh, the taco shop, fa- a hard flower taco. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the shit. Yeah, they're pretty legit. They are. No, here's what taco I figured Jays. out. What I figured out yeah, recently is the, uh, is the quesadilla from Taco Bell. Get their taco meat put on it. The Crunchwrap Ooh, Supreme. Dude, it's oh, so yeah. fucking good. It's what is so it? good. Get taco meat put on the quesadilla at Taco Bell. Rather than chicken or whatever, it's so fucking good. And, okay. and how did no one mention the fucking Mexican pizza that's coming back to Taco Bell? Because well, it's oh, yeah. been gone for so long. I, I know. Believe it or not. I love the Mexican Whoa. pizza. Believe it or not, I was actually the an assistant manager at a Taco Bell Express my freshman year of college. And when I say freshman year, I mean my only year of college. <laughs> All of my years of college were freshman year. Um. But yeah, we used to have that taco pizza, and we fucking hated so people good. who ordered it because mm-hmm. it was it required a special machine that we didn't use for any. Well, no, I'm, I take that back. The Mexi Melt. Oh yeah, nobody ordered those either. But yeah. you get that one asshole, mm-hmm. and it's like there are several fucking pizza places in town. <laughs> a lot of which have uh, Mexican pizzas. Me, yeah, taco pizza and shit. Or is it taco pizza or pizza taco? Ah, uh, pizza. Uh, Taco pizza, I guess. Sure. Pizza well, taco would be whatever. pizza filling in a taco. Pizza. Right. You know, whatever. Whatever you want. Right. You know, they didn't invent pizza. No. Oh, the Mexicans did. didn't? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. sure, actually, the Greeks did. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, I figured. Or it was. maybe even the Egyptians. There's there's a long history of tomato sauce and cheese being right. actually, put on bread. It's okay. actually the French Canadians. Um, what, Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. They're goddamn Labradors. Right. But everybody else in Canada, they're okay. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple more I wanted to give a shout out to. Uh, I was going to say this, this wasn't an item that they're not going to hear this. They're fucking fast food shut items. Shut up. Um, the Krispy Kreme donut. I think oh. that's that. That's is one that fast food. Yes, really? it is. It's yeah, technically considered of. a fast food item. It's not that fast. It's it's kind of fast when you go in there. You, they got to drive. Yeah, I guess they got them already. That's, made. that's right. I, I'm I'm not going to lie to you. I I wonder if I if I ever just said fuck you to my health i wonder how many Krispy Kreme donuts i could sit there and eat i know exactly how many i i've a eaten lot. a lot i i've eaten a dozen <laughs> i'm sure i have too I, easily yeah. i've eaten a dozen yeah i agree they just melt to nothing but the god damn it fresh ones are so fucking good yeah fuck you Krispy Kreme that's for being the, so good that's the challenge you have to eat every single donut in that box uh while they're warm that's the challenge yeah, yeah. yep yep so. yep yep yeah yep, that's yep. not a problem that and then, then the uh, sausage egg muffin. You can microwave cheese. them for like five seconds. That's there's, true. There's it's yeah. a three second deal. It's, it's three, it's three seconds. seconds. Okay. Yeah. That's the perfect. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, on Sunday mornings there at Arrowhead Stadium, Krispy Kremes has that <laughs> breakfast special <laughs> for Krispy Kreme donuts for just nine dollars. <laughs> That's great. All right, what guys. The fuck? Yeah, no. Well, guys, that is our draft for this week again. What about the double down? Okay, fine. Remember that extra long chili cheese, Cody. That's pretty damn good too. That's pretty but good. do you, do you remember the KFC good. double down? Yeah. That was like just fuck you to your health. Right. The bread like, was made out of chicken patties. Yeah. I like the cheese tots from Sonic. Fuck yeah. Oh, Chili shit. Cheese. They're yeah. really good. Those are yeah. good. No, they're just yeah. cheddar bites. The cheddar yeah. bites. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I have Their ordered those. The last, poppers are good. The last few times I've been to Sonic, that I've ordered those fucking cheddar bites, and I have said, with marinara sauce, 
and like the last three times, no ranch. fucking marinara sauce. Ranch, ranch, ranch with that shit. But, I mean, I like ranch as much as the next guy, but I don't want them on my fucking cheddar bites. I want marinara. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that is our draft for this week. Again, you can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for your favorite list of fast food items by clicking There's on the There's really core, no need. We all know who won this. Corresponding emoji. <laughs> yeah. Scott. Scott. Yeah, Scott. Scott. You know what? If people Whoa. start calling you Scott, Scott, I'm all for you winning this draft. Is that Same all it takes? Dude. Scotty German won this draft. Uh, but anyways, you talking about Scooter McFuckstick? That's the guy. Oh. Anyways, uh, you can vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji to the uh, the list that has the most of your favorite uh, fast mm-hmm. food items. Whoever wins uh, next week gets the championship p- picks. I don't know if Derek will be back here next week. I, he he may be. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, do that. Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. In honor of the uh, horrific weather events that happened over this last weekend, uh, I'm going to harken back to just, uh, what, 30 fucking years ago, 31 years ago? Mm-hmm. April 26, 1991, uh, multiple weather supercells across Oklahoma and Kansas led to an outbreak of tornadoes across the region. A total of 55 tornadoes that measured an F2 or higher were confirmed throughout Oklahoma and Kansas. Uh, The most notable was an F5 tornado that ripped through Andover, Kansas. Mm -hmm. The same town that the fucking F3 just ripped through earlier, just earlier this week. A couple days ago, yeah. Um, It uh, it was the first F5 tornado ever uh, measured. It was the highest win at the time ever measured highest wind speed at the time ever measured of uh, 270 miles an hour and um along with 589 million dollars worth of property damage uh managed to kill 17 people and now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and legos legos and yeah it's a twister it's a twister <laughs> You said it killed 17 people? 17 people. Eat your heart out, BTK. He only killed 10. (laughs) Jesus Christ. And it did it more ruthlessly. Yeah. 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 With less emotion. Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Mm. Well, uh, this week's... That's horrible. That is absolutely terrible. Fucking Legos? Yeah. Why would you sponsor that? Sponsor that... You know, the shitty situation of the week should have been, would you have rather been in the Andover 1991 tornado or step on a Lego barefoot? (laughs) I'm going to go with that tornado. I'm going to go with the tornado. I'm going with the tornado every day. Yeah. All right. But this is every time that I step, I, a lot of times I'll get between my foot and the leg of my dick will get <laughs> caught. And, oh, <laughs> right. oh, man. It hurts. Oh, man. It really that bruises. Hurts. It's bad. I'm glad you went with the Homer pick, though. That's a good one. That's good Legos. Get, sure. get, on, get on them for, for picking a Homer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that, that really is bullshit. There's a real easy way to make this go away, Legos. <laughs> 50 Gs. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather... During sex, your wife tries to have a regular conversation or be dead silent. There you go. You want me to go? I think I want to go. Go. I um I I'm I wouldn't say that that uh I like having sex with dead chicks, but um I like you it. don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. That's that's what I'm saying. Um, I love silence and mm. uh, you know get in, get out, quit fucking about. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Uh, mm. I, shut the fuck up. Let me do my deal. Let me leave. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's I think that's perfect. You try to have a fucking conversation with me, I'm gonna put something over your fucking mouth. So I'm taking uh, dead <laughs> silence. I yeah. got. I don't know. I got to be honest with you. I. Uh, it, it's usually dead silent anyway. Cause they just have a look of disgust on their face, like what the fuck did I just get myself into? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then they're they're too too uh, disgusted to speak. So be. I don't know. It might be a little better to have some conversations. You know. Here's. I mean. 
I don't know. I might want to hear about how the <laughs> pedicure was that day. Especially the hot Asian chick that gave you the pedicure. <laughs> yeah. You know? At this point, you're just going through the motions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that would have been good. That would have been good. You know, I don't want to hear about her car breaking down or something. Yeah, though. yeah. You know, I that's something that. you would have to hear. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would be, uh, it, it, if it's something fun, I think I'd rather have the conversation. Oh, God. Go ahead and answer, Jeremy. I'm going to go with uh, her having a conversation for, for <laughs> really? sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because if she's just stone quiet during sex, uh -huh. then it's all going to come out after that's we're true. done. <laughs> yeah, that's true. At least. Just loading up. Over the last 18 years of marriage, I have become very adept at just tuning her out anyway. <laughs> this is one less conversation that we got to have later. And. <laughs> At least I get to be fucking while I'm doing it. That's true. As opposed to trying to watch TV or something really important. Awesome. So <laughs> solid point. Yeah, um, yeah, I can I can tune her out with absolutely no problem. Just focus on what I'm doing, take care of business, and uh, I like it. and then go get something to drink. I guess. Okay, for once, I, I, okay. Here's the thing. You can't change your answer. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. In fact, I have thought of a completely new shitty situation while uh -oh. having this conversation. Uh -oh. and I think it's, save it for next week. Uh, no, it, it, no, it's too much like this one. My question is, would you rather have your wife during sex have an emotionless face or her orgasm face is that of a retard? So basically, you're asking me if we would just have the sex we've always been having <laughs> or, or, or if comical. it could be a fun face. <laughs> yeah, fun face all fucking day yes. long, yes. for sure. Uh, it's not yeah, even 100%. close. 100%. Hopefully, she drools, too. <laughs> Okay, since since we're coming up with new si situations, <laughs> okay, would you rather, <laughs> while she was having sex with you, she was on the phone with her friends, oh god, or texting her friends, FaceTime, <laughs> FaceTime, FaceTime with her friends, okay, uh, okay, yeah, for sure, FaceTime. Oh Jesus! And I'd be like, get, get a get a picture of me, get like turn the camera around, get an action shot. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> as long Is as he that crying? camera, yeah, he just does that normal. As long as that camera's on me. I'm fine with that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah 100%. Uh, oh, yeah. As long as she looks at my up. fat tits. Oh, Jesus. I think this is gone forever, but believe it or not, we've got to come to an end eventually with this episode. Uh, again, Steve, thank you very, hey, thank you. very much for I coming love by. That's I love awesome. having you on the show. You're always a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, man. Uh, thanks again for, for the venue. This is the guy solely responsible, so everybody uh, thanks Steve yeah. and uh, follow uh, Vorshay's Cocktail Lounge. Uh, in fact, we're not be. even going to show up for that show. It's just going to be Steve. It's just going to be yeah. Steve. Yeah, that's what's Steve Steve's got a solid half hour of uh, stand up yeah, comedy. He could, he could, you know, just go ahead and go with the flow with. But speaking of which, I was going to say, speaking of which, uh, you got any shows coming up that you want to announce? I will be at McCurdy's Comedy Theater in Sarasota, Florida, mm. May 18th through the 21st for the World Series of Comedy competition. If there's anybody in Florida that wants to come out and check that out, please do. I could use people rooting me on. There you go. Or you can check me out at stevepeterscomedy.com. There you go. There you go. How about you, Jeremy? Any uh, stand-up spots? Nope. Well, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. I retired. I, I will be at the Looney Bin Saturday. No, I'm fucking kidding you. There's no way. Oh, fucking hell, fun, man. Oh, man. no. Here's the deal. Wednesday's the, Wednesday's the uh, monthly open mic. Come to a set. Yeah, kiss my fucking Come ass. Come on, man. It'll be fun. Do you want what? me to get booed off stage? You, yes, wait, I yes, do. Actually, yes, Why okay. are you for pe wasting people's time? I know. <laughs> I know. That's stage time that somebody else could be getting. Absolutely. Somebody who's worth a fuck. Yes, anybody. There, uh, there is a deaf mute person person that would do better at comedy than i would <laughs> amen <laughs> it's just the truth can i get a hallelujah uh-huh boom but anyways guys thank you guys so much for Lean tuning in on me <laughs> to another episode of the <laughs> laughing on the sidelines podcast guys we sincerely appreciate it we are growing like crazy and it's all because of you guys thank you so much for sharing our tiktoks and commenting that helps spread those things to get new people that don't know who the fuck we are here's what i hope yeah i hope you get about 200 messages that are like that guy sounds just like jim gaffigan on the fucking radio this is true i've always thought more andy richter oh oh yeah i do that no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's gaffigan gaffigan yeah, I think so. well when he puts on the gaffigan voice you're doing an impression but normally no, your voice no, just sounds, just, it's my normal it's richter voice. It, it's his normal voice but it has to start with the high the ah, 
Ah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. that's whatever. Yeah. That's whatever. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what yeah, it yeah. sounds like, Gaffigan. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you guys. Why so don't we just tell people we had Jim Gaffigan on? We get a lot yeah, more listeners. What the fuck? God damn it! This is I'll just wear a. I'll wear what do you got a, going like on a, next week? Steve? Yeah, I'll yeah, wear like, like a terrorist, terrorist hood. There you go. They'll just never know. Yes. Yeah, Gaffigan with a. Gaffigan with the shawl. Yes, the and they me. say they're going to be had. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, oh, thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. Keep yep. doing what you're doing, getting the show to get bigger. We uh, Again, we appreciate it. And it's, as we always say, guys, if you like us, do a favor, tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope your wife eats a dozen McRibs and then shits on your pillow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> if you don't like us, <laughs> tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, every kiss begins with K. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.